This is, uh, I'm a child. I'm a freaking child, am I not? Look at this. I've got a blanket fort. I'm 50-something years old, and I'm <laughs> I'm streaming from a blanket fort. Um, yeah, boy. Um, <laughs> if you'd ask teenage me what I was going to be like when I was older, I'll tell you, I would have probably just died of embarrassment. Uh, but I love it. I love it. All right. Uh, let's get me out of the way a little bit. Uh, we've got some uh, Magic the Gathering to show. I'm going to just stop that so we don't send out passwords as well. Um, here we go. So we've got me. Desktop audio we'll have to test. We'll have to test the desktop audio and see if we get that as well. I'm just going to pop on and sign myself into my game. ba da ba ba do Here we go. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, so this is, I want to do some Magic. Magic. I think I want to do some magic. I haven't done magic in a while. Uh, so uh, Gimpy G is going to join us later. Uh, he is uh, he is without lunch right now. You do not want a hungry a hungry yeah hungry Gimpy G is not a good not a, not a good way to go. Nixie Geek, how are you? All I can think of is that um, is that AI version of you now, Nixie Geek, that sort of nineteen forties looking Blade Runner esque woman. Um, all right, paper clips. How are you, paper clips? Your giant eyes and clapping hands. Uh, what am I doing here? I'm the Canardian, I believe, on Magic the Gathering. I believe that's, I believe that's who I am. Um, I have not played this. I literally haven't played this since last we streamed. So it's been like a month or something. Like I, I think I'm gonna have to like remember. I'm gonna have to like basically learn how to play Magic the Gathering again, which is which is just sad unto itself. Um, but something we talked about doing, and I mean, maybe we won't even play. Maybe we'll just, uh, who knows what we'll do. Um, uh, it's possible we could. Oh, no, don't do that. Um, I I kind of loved the idea. Like Lance had this great idea to use uh, Mid Journey to create some Magic the Gathering cards, and then I was mentioning to him that uh, Baz and I had this crazy idea. Can I go more full screen right now? Is that just? Is it just me? Where's the all me? I don't have an all me. That's ridiculous. How can? How can I not have an all me version? There you go. Oh, there's the workers out guy out, guys outside. I should get rid of that. They poor fellas. They don't want to be seen. Magic musings. Oh, there you go. Magic musings. That's a little less, more exciting. You get to see witches instead of me. Um, so uh, hey, Gideon or G one D three zero N. Uh, hello, and got some lemons for you. Fantastic, wonderful. Like I don't have a million freaking lemons already. I'm broadcasting from a blanket fort in my basement. Uh, yes, because there's just no room for me left with all the with all the lemons I've got. How are you, first time chatter, Gideon? Um, oh my God, more first time chatters. We got Chuck Finley, 420. Hello, is that a 420? Is that like a is that a uh, is that like a cool kids pot reference or a, or a, or an Elon Musk reference? The 420. Um, uh, Emote hype wave. I like the hype wave. Uh, first time chat from so this is Chuck Finley four twenty. We've got uh, halflings pipe. Good day, sir. Good day to you too. I say. I say. Good day to you as well. I don't know if you've watched this amazing uh, guy on YouTube who does. He's part of the uh, the Greeters Guild. He's this British actor and he he pretends to be very posh and he stands outside like Walmart's and things like that and says greetings, welcome to welcome to Walmart. Um, fabulous day you're having. Uh, he's he's wonderful to watch. I should look him up. Um, Lira Wolf, hello chat. Oh, hello chat, but not me. Fine, Lira Wolf. Just you just barge straight in here and start saying, start sucking up to the chat. Sure, you go right ahead, Lira Wolf. You're you're welcome here. Polly Paul Paul. Oh my gosh. So Paul 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 gave me uh, like the best uh, care package that a uh, that a young nerd could want. Or an old nerd, as the case is for me. Uh, I got coffee. I got chocolate. It was just, I got little postcards showing where he lived. It was just, it was absolutely wonderful. And I and I very, very much appreciate it. Um, uh, and I've been drinking the coffee as well. Uh, although I found, here's the thing, a little, a little little tip I found for your coffee. I've gone stronger with your coffee because I want more of it. So, like, I want more of your coffee taste. So, I've, I've put the grounds up to, uh, to strong when I brew it. And it's fantastic. So, yes. Um, so, thank you very much, Paul Paul. Uh, I freaking love the blanket fort. I know it's kind of. I'm sort of wondering if maybe I should, if I should just make this the blanket fort. <laughs> like I, I'm so enamored with the whole concept of it. I feel like a kid in my blanket fort. Um, so who knows? Maybe it'll be a blanket fort. The blankets are actually here because we've got renovations going on, and uh, it's all sort of. It's basically this wall and 
these walls here have fences and and things attached to them. So the poor guys are working there all the time. Then they also like to listen to their music and they like their they like their riveting guns and their screwy screwdrivers and all the stuff that the people use that I'm not allowed to use because my wife won't let me use power tools anymore because I hurt myself. Um, amen says says uh, half by oh my god, Christy roll, Christy roll. My gosh, going crazy with the tiers with the tier one subs. Thank you very very much. That's very kind of you. Dinosaur Dave got one too. Dinosaur Dave, we got to talk dinosaur Dave. I got a genius plan. I have a genius plan that involves. So I here's the story. I have like the best agent on the planet because he collects Lego. He's a nerd like me. So uh, we like we get together. We, bear, we I guess we talk about film and television sometimes, but mainly we just geek out and it's just kind of fun. So. Um, so, uh, so he said, look, this tech bandits thing, you gotta, what, why aren't you on TV? And I was like, well, cause I, I like YouTube and, and Twitch and I like where the kids are. I like the discord. I'm just a, I'm just a young teenager hanging out on the internet. Um, and he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. How's the money? And we laughed. Ha ha. How we laughed. Oh, money. Who makes money on YouTube? Um, young, much more handsome people than me do. Uh, so basically, um, he said, look, you got you to gotta, you gotta do a science show. And I was like, it sounded so obvious to me, but it's just so obvious that I hadn't really thought about it. Like I'd, I'd had projects that I wanted to do. You know, I'd been working on this upgrade required, which is now, we, I have very, thanks to my brilliant wife, has, she's, she's sort of, uh, she's given that to a very talented director who's going to sort of run with that herself. Um, I just become like a subject in the film now. But uh, of my own projects, I'd always just focused on 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 being online like because I just I just I love this whole do what you want type space um but my agent's like look you gotta you gotta pitch like a science Dave show type thing um which of course I would I, I you know well it's so funny I came with all these different ideas for what I, I wanted to call it and finally my son goes dad why don't you just call it tech bandits tv and I was like oh Okay, good point. I was like, well, it's complicated, son. I don't know that. And then I talked to my friend who's in the industry, and I said, like, I don't know what to call it. He's like, well, just call it Tech Bandits TV. And I was like, yeah, but it's complicated. And he's like, no, it's it's really not. Just, you know, you you do your Tech Bandits, and then this is the Tech Bandits TV, and then that's they're two separate things. And you know, so I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, go for Fluffernut. It's addictive, isn't it? The AI art stuff is just insanely cool like it's my new addiction like it's you want to talk about a problem i cannot stop i'm constantly typing ideas in there in fact get this so agent wants me to pitch this this science show which i which i think could be really fun and i wanted to just like basically do it out of my garage or maybe a, a fort a blanket fort now maybe we'll keep the blanket fort to the to the youtube but you know we'll really splurge out and maybe like literally base it out of my garage but i thought we could sort of make it like it's like it's like hewlett hq and uh Instead of having, um, instead of, instead of like having a, sh I mean, I want to travel all over the place. It'd be amazing. But, you know, maybe to start, we, uh, and, and, and the sort of par for the course for the whole idea of like tech bandits being about kids, you know, you know, um, empowering kids to, to do cool things. I thought, what if, what if all of the stories were based on things that people like film and send us? Like, so like, what if you get like some kid, you get a kid in London, England who wants to talk about uh, the old coal power stations or versus the new nuclear power stations or wind power. Or those kind of, like anyone who has like an, a story that inspires them as a kid, we get in touch with them or they get in touch with us. We send them like a camera or something or we tell them how to, how to film it or whatever they need. And then we could just sort of – we could – do this kind of thing, only do it like on TV and have like a budget to actually go and like, I don't know, go and talk to people at, at real nuclear reactors or, or, you know, you know, I, I, you know, just cool stuff like that, you know, do some neat projects. And, and I've got so many friends now with so many, with such a wide variety of skills and skill sets that it, I just don't think it'd be a problem to find an expert in whatever field comes up so i just thought it'd be kind of fun to have like this giant screen like like at the end of batman like a giant screen with like uh you know the capital city of every single country in the world and we have tech bandits agents all over the world and then whenever something cool comes up that they want to talk about they 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 alert us and then we we uh we talk to them about it and then we explore whatever it is that they that they want to explore and like so literally have like a kids based uh, but family show. Like, I don't want it to be like a kid's show because I don't think that generally works for kids. Hi to diddly a doo, kids. We're going to talk about science. I mean, I don't want to do that. Well, although that's, you know, that could be funny too in a weird, twisted way. Um, but I, you know, I kind of, I want it to be like more Mythbusters than, than, you know, more Mythbusters than, 
I don't know. Then I would say Sesame Street, but I wouldn't mind doing Sesame Street. Um, you know, but that's the idea. It's basically have like a, a Mythbusters style science show where we just go and do cool stuff based on what what you know our our tech bandits agents from around the world have got have got for us. Like it'd be really cool to like talk to people who live in like desert terrain about what they you know how about their different uh, you know life concerns and stuff. Oh. There you go. The drilling's going. Luckily, I'm in my luckily I'm in my soundproof blanket fort. I have this all the time, all day. It's going, it's driving me crazy. I know it's amazing. Like I know it's amazing that it's going to be a beautiful when it's all done and stuff. But it's like I just I think it's just like being around people all the time. It's just I just have to be nice. It's terrible. Sci-fi gal, thank you very much. Uh, who else we got here? We got a first-time chat from Rowan Crossley's. And who says it's a great idea? Oh, you're going to fit in beautifully here. If you agree with me, you're going to just love it. You're going to love it here. Um, anyone said uh, hello to Cal yet? I played with some Cal images. Yeah. I was playing with some more Cal the Hammer images, which are kind of fun. John P7, how are you? Who else we got there? Gervais54. Um, I can't wait for the 26 to see. Oh, yes. C. So C is, is that the 26? Is that when they start airing it? I, I'm going, like, we're literally going to L.A. for the for the premiere, which is just kind of wild. I never do that. And I would totally have got out of it if I could have because I'm just such an antisocial little jerk. But Jane's like, no, 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 you're going. One of my funniest stories actually was, was um, which almost ended our marriage, was um, we went to the opening of uh, uh, Caesar Rise of the Planet of the Apes. And um, so we were invited to go to the screening. So we went to the screening. And we're, like, we're heading towards the red carpet. And then I go, oh, Jane, here, look at this over here. And I... I noticed that there was a way around the carpet. So I went, I took her around, like away from the carpet and around it into the theater without seeing anybody. And I get in there, I'm like, whoo, we got through without having to see anybody. Oh my God, her face. She was so angry at me. She's like, this is your, you're supposed to do that. Like it was just, she just couldn't, the poor woman who used to wrangle talent was like suddenly unable to wrangle her own husband who had managed to, what he felt, circumvent the red carpet. I'd got away from all that boring stuff and got into the theater so we'd get popcorn. Um, all right. Uh, yes, Gippy G will join us as soon as he's dined. He must dine first. Uh, I hope I'll hear him because it occurs to me that my, I have to see his Discord will come up. Um, all right. Hey, peeps. Oh, look. Cal's in a good mood. Why in such a good mood, Cal? Is it because the AI's been thinking about you all night? I was playing with all sorts of different. I was trying to. I was working on this Judge Dread thing for Cal, like trying to get Cal, uh, like a, a Cal, you know, not knowing Cal terribly well, um, other than online, like all you do. Uh, I thought, how do we, you know, what's a, you know, what kind of a, a, what kind of images could we get that could that could relate to, to to Cal as the hammer? And I I I got a bunch of them, which I guess I could share with you. Cal will love that. Predator laptop commercial commercial came on as I tuned in. Oh. Man, are they, but is that Asus? Because, I, you know, I just sent, so I had my Asus um, and I had to, I've, up, I've had to like reinstall Windows like three times on the damn thing because um, it, I find it's, it's got all these, Jesus, that is just like, they're drilling into my head. Um, it's, uh, uh, I've had to reinstall Windows like a few times because I find like the fans will start racing like just on all the time. Or uh, or this, the function keys won't work or whatever. Like with every update, it seems to screw things up. So I sort of resigned myself to okay, if it's going to update and stops behaving, I just go back and you know. And so it was also it keeps dropping the um, the video card, right? So there's a there's a GPU in there. There's like a 2070 in this in this thing. It's great. I mean, it has like two giant rads on the back that just pump out the air. Um, boy, this blanket's really doing. Can you imagine what it'd be like without this blanket? That noise. I don't know if you can hear it very well because the microphone I think cuts out some sound as well. But, um, but uh, anyways, uh, so it's got these two giant rads at the back blowing out hot air all the time, and um, uh, you know it's it's a gaming laptop, which is stupid. I probably should have just got something different, but and I will next time. So uh, I upgrade it. I upgrade. Uh, uh, sorry, upgrade. I update Windows, then I go to reinstall Windows because things aren't working. It gets all the way through the install. It goes to pick the country, and it dies. It just dies, completely dead as a freaking doornail, right? You know, like just like like a lump of wood. Um, so, and I've tried. I tried all of the support stuff. I went through. I I pulled it apart. I I checked for damage. I 
Um, I pulled the memory, I put the memory back in, I pulled the battery, I put the battery back in, all of which are supposed to not be done because I guess you're not supposed to play with the insides of computers anymore, which is really not fun. You gotta be able to play with computers. I'm a big fan of the sort of the right to repair thing because it's like, are you kidding? It's the whole point of being a hacker. It's the whole point of being into computers is being able to take them apart, for God's sake. Um, so I, um, uh, yeah, so I, I ran through basically all of the support things they possibly could so that I popped on the chat with them and they go, have you tried? I was like, okay, I was like, before you start, I'm a freaking genius. I've done everything. Where do I send it? I want to just send it to you and get it, um, get it fixed. And they were, t they were great. They were like, okay, let's, let's get you the information. It did cost me like a hundred bucks just to send it in, which kind of sucks. It kind of rankles me a bit because I'm. You know, I'm I'm like what six months over the over the warranty. Like I'm literally like well, I shouldn't say six months. Probably more like eight. But you know, it's it's less than two years old and it's completely dead. I mean, I've had a laptop. I've had a laptop that was given to me by Brian 3D Brian, um, uh, which is a used laptop then, and I have been using that nonstop for like I don't know three four years now I still use it every single day it's a Mac it's it's absolutely beautiful it's great I mean it's slowing down now and it's having a hard, little hard time with things now but but you know it's still perfectly functional um and an Asus like an expensive Asus gaming laptop with a 2070 you know wizzly doodah day GPU uh it's still freaking it's dead within two years I mean that's just that's freaking stupid uh, the MacBooks do live a really long time. They live so long that the operating systems don't keep up with them, and then you have to install Linux. And they work great with Linux. I have like a little Linux system, which is great. I put uh, Ubuntu on um, on one of my old uh, laptop, uh, one of the old uh, MacBook Airs, and it's it's fantastic. It's, it's completely seamless. It's great, and you don't have to worry about it running. Never, be, it just doesn't. You know, the software doesn't go out of date. It's fantastic. Um, hello, Eva McFerry. Just got here. You did indeed. You're in such a hurry. You, you spelled just wrong. Uh, wow, that's amazing. I think it cost me less than that to ship something from Montreal to Chile. Really? Uh, what's this Mark LaPointe is talking about? What's, what's they talking about? Cost me two hundred dollars to ship a laptop from Fort Lauderdale to Toronto. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Actually, what I wonder what I wonder what Brian spent on sending that to me. It was very kind of him, and I was really embarrassed because I was like, I was like, I look, I you know, I don't. He's like, look, it's just going to sit there gathering dust. You might as well, if someone's going to use it, use it. So I was like, wow, okay, great. So I, I, so again, it's like this old, I guess he'd upgraded and I, and, and I got it. And it's, it's been, it's been absolutely amazing. Like it's an old, you know, whatever the old Intel, um, MacBooks are and it's working great. Uh, MacBook Pro 2013 may have Ubuntu on it in the near future. Yeah. It, you know what, Mark, Mark LaPointe, uh, it runs great. It runs absolutely beautifully i um you know there's ubuntu there's cali i mean i wondered about cali because it'd be just kind of fun from a hacking perspective but um yeah they work really really well and then it just it's a whole new lease on life the other thing is that linux runs really fast on it like i was surprised at how zippy it was um you know once the once the mac operating system gets a little behind oh my god and your system gets a little old it gets a little churny but um a little henry churny um but uh but now i have to figure oh cheryl cohen holy crap Jesus, tossing tears around like, 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 like they're like they're weapons of some kind. Weapons, you know, weapons of of mass joy. Thank you very much, uh, Cheryl Cohen. That's 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 very sweet of you. Uh, Ubuntu is my lazy go-to. Yeah, I mean, Ubuntu's like got an it's got an easy install. Um, it seems to basically work with just about everything. Oh, here's a question: If anyone else is using Ubuntu, do you know does um. Does like uh, Streamlabs work on it? Like, would would I mean I know OBS would probably. I'm assuming OBS would have a a Linux version. But is do, do Streamlabs and that kind of stuff? Do they have? Do I mean Streamlabs? No, Stream Elements is what I'm using now because Streamlabs apparently are jerks. Um, I try to make my oh for, a free BSD would be smart because that's the underlying operating system with OS X anyways, isn't it? Um. Kubuntu, KDE is preferred. Really? Oh, that's interesting. Haven't used Ubuntu in years. Yeah, it's been a long time for me too. But I installed it out of desperation on a little on a little laptop because I was I wanted to bring a tiny, tiny laptop with me to Montreal because I want to be able to do my Coursera course. So I'm taking this Google Analytics Coursera course. And um, well, I say I'm taking it. I'm the slowest freaking 
I'm the slowest guy. I'm like, it's ridiculous how long it takes you to get. They're like, they're like, here's your week, week one. I'm like, a month later, I'm still working on week one because I, you know, I, oh God, I haven't done that. You know, I've run back and do it and stuff. But it's, I, I do love it. OBS is what most people I've talked to recommend. Yeah, this is, so OBS seems to be the basis for a lot of these things. And I think, oh, there is like, it's a, this is a stream elements version of OBS that I'm using right now, which seems to work pretty well. Um, Alyssa LG, good afternoon to you too. Um, uh, yes, Cheryl, Cheryl Cohen really does rock, by the way. Let me see if I can find these images of uh, that I was looking for Cal. Cal the Hammer. I have Cal the Hammer. Uh, oh, she's going to be in Discord, isn't it? Because it all runs through this Discord bot, which is kind of cool. Where the hell am I? What have I done? What have I done? Okay. Um, so but let me, you know, let me just give you a little example of the kind of thing, the kind of thing that I'm doing here. Um, and let me see if I can share this. I'm assuming that I can. Uh, I think it was Discord sharing. Was that it? Kia Windows Capture, is that it? Nope. What if it's, uh, is it this one? Discord General. I don't want that. Mid Journey Bot, there you go. Okay. So we're back on the old, uh, back on the old uh, Mid Journey. I know I'm obsessed with this and I'm sorry if it's boring you. I, I apologize. Go watch someone who's far more interesting than me. Um, so Mid Journey Bot. So this is this AI image generator. So for example, I want to do this pitch for a science show. And one of my ideas is that there would be like this giant Batman wall of monitors, you know, or somehow we'd simulate a giant wall of monitors. I kind of like the idea of it being old TVs as well, like some CRE, CRT tubes. And so, anyway, like, so wall of monitors. And the idea is I wanted to represent each tech bandit agent who would be, you know, peppered throughout the world. Because um, the idea, again, is like, you know, science is universal. Uh, and, uh, you know, and, uh, and kids' interest in this stuff, I think, is universal as well. I mean, if you can get – you just – everyone is a geek about something no matter what their age. And if you can find out what it is that they what, – what gets their geek on, that's um, – you know, that, that that is a gift that you just can't – I mean, you know. One of my favorite things is people come up and say, like, oh, I'm an astrophysicist because of McKay. And I'm like, oh, that's fantastic. You know, but that's a – you know, that's the writing. That's the, the show. That's the character. I, I you know, I, I love that, that, that my portrayal helped that. Great. Fantastic. But I, the hearing that – is so exciting to me. I think I got addicted to that. And so now because now I want Tech Bandits to do the same thing, basically. So this image here is I, you know, I type into Midjourney AI that I want a two-story high uh, wall of monitors. And I thought, well, I, I tried kids as like, you know, with each with a different kid from around the world in it. And it it just it was, yeah, you know, it just looked creepy. It looked something out of like Midwich Cuckoos or something. It looked like, you know, we were, we were like gathering to be culled by an alien race. So um <laughs> maybe I'm reading into it. Uh but so I thought, okay, well, I'll just get it to give me, uh, you know, a wall of monitors with a different capital city from all over the world. And again, it's not perfect. It'll take a lot of tweaking. But you get the idea here. I can now create an image that I can put in a document that I will then take to a TV network and say, hey, this is our show and this is how I want it to look and stuff, which I just think is it truly revolutionizes the way the way, you know, certainly the way I'm going to do business. Um, and, you know, I, my, my son and I, Baz was not sure whether I should mention this or not because he's worried someone's going to rip it off. But I was like, well, but if I've said it online, then people will know it's my idea anyway. So uh, our idea, sorry. Uh, we started discussing like, um, you know, was there a was there an alternative to Magic the Gathering? Magic the Gathering is getting very, very expensive. The cards are expensive. I love the physical cards. Uh, I have actually this cabinet, right? I don't know if you can see it, but this entire cabinet here is full of Magic the Gathering cards, but I've stopped buying them because I just can't warrant the kind of, I mean, they want 250 bucks for a box of these things now. And I'm like, that's just nuts. That's like a robot. Um, so I um, I started talking to Baz about like, well, if we could make your own cards, like if you could get your own version of this, that, you know, what would we do? And we came up with this really fun idea called Aliens and Astronauts. And, and the idea, or Astronauts and Aliens, I can't remember. I think maybe it's Astronauts and Aliens that has a better ring to it somehow. But the idea was basically to have um, the same kind of approach that Magic the Gathering has, where you have all these beautiful artistic cards. Um, and But instead of, um, instead of mana, you would have uh, potentially sort of power crystals, like ZPM type crystals. And each, and each type of crystal would work with a type of being or contraption or whatever. And the idea was basically to 
to you know take over the universe or 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 you know align yourself with other members of the universe to sort of take over you know large portions of it. And I just thought it'd be kind of fun to have like there would be humanoids, there would be plantoids, there would be um, you know uh, grab graboids. <laughs> Probably not graboids because they're from Tremors, and I talked about that yesterday with um, the Salty Nerds. It was so much fun. Um, but uh, sorry, Salty Nerds is a podcast you should check out. It's just a it's just a bunch of wonderful film geeks talking about films, and I I just love popping in and giving my two cents on films that I grew up with, and one of them was Tremors. So, um, but anyways, uh, you know the idea of like you know have a silicone based life, have a have a um, you know uh, have a sort of a, you know almost a magic like race, but I'd love to keep them in the realm of the possible, if that makes sense, like a quantum some kind of a quantum race. Oh, speaking of which, great book that I'm reading right now called Life on the Edge. And it is, uh, I understand, I don't understand most of it. I'd be completely honest. I'm, I'm stumbling. It's an audio book and I have to go back and, and listen to things like 50 times to make any sense of it because it deals with quantums and it deals with, with quantum mechanics. It deals with biology. It's all stuff that I'm not entirely familiar with. But what it's, what it's suggesting, I mean, it's been suggested before, what they're sort of pushing in this book, which I love, is the idea that potentially life, this little spark, this little portion of life that we don't understand, that little, that first step that takes us from inorganic to organic, um, that organic things seem to have no problems doing, but inorganic is impossible. We haven't figured out how to do it. Um, and, as, and as Feynman says, you know, you, yeah, unless you can build it, you don't understand it. Um, you know, they're saying, what if it's, what if it's related to quantum mechanics? Like, what if there's some kind of a quantum spin to this, well, maybe literally, um, that is that is leading that that allows for life? And I just thought, what an amazing. Even if they're, even if it's not, even if it's completely wrong, I don't care. It's just a really cool concept because it um, it immerses me in some biology, which I really like, molecular biology and that kind of stuff, which I'm struggling through myself as well as the as well as the Coursera stuff. God, you know what? I do more studying now than I did in school. It's, it's bizarre. Um, and then you're also dealing with quantum mechanics as well, which is just absolutely fascinating and mind blowing, and well, completely confusing to me as well. But um, you know, as my son says, I only play smart on TV. But um, uh, so there you go. So we created a few a, a life a few years ago, microbial, but we did it. Mark Lapointe, I but I think we didn't. I didn't think we did it from inorganic. I think was the idea. Like I think the point is that we can create life using organic materials, but we can't create life out of only organic uh, inorganic materials i believe but if you've got a link or something please if i'm wrong i'm even more excited um i've not watched season three of the orville i started watching season one of the orville i was unimpressed i've got to say uh i've since been told shut up get back in there watch season two and three so i will i will do that um book club thank you james r gurney it's so true um yeah, the book club. I mean, look, I love the idea of a book club, but I just suck at reading. Like, I, I just like trying to keep in character, like try, keep in character, trying to keep uh, on track with that stuff. I find is just difficult. Yeah, James R. Gurney was saying we should do a book club too. I, I which I love. I love the idea of a biology book club. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to get to um, uh, biohack the planet this year. The Odin is doing another biohack the planet convention. It's one of my one of the most enjoyable experiences of my life was going to Vegas and doing this thing. And now they're based in Austin, Texas, and they're doing like a smaller, like 50 person conference. But it's like, it's a conference that that uh, that involves uh, just basically doing doing some biotech stuff. So you go and you check out their labs and you see how to do this stuff firsthand, which I just I think would be so exciting. It's the beginning of beginning of September I'm not sure if I can do it but I I bought a ticket just to support them I bought like a ticket to the to the conference and I'm I'm hoping I can figure it out because it would just be really fun oh I'm paused chat paused due to scroll yes bio book club there you go well that's we'll have to talk to um uh uh Dr. Ann PhD about that for sure Windigo 2 let's clone a woolly mammoth wouldn't that be fun well let's clone a woolly mammoth but only the steak only a steak of a woolly, woolly mammoth and then you can like create uh, woolly mammoth steaks and make a fortune by, you know, having McDonald's buy woolly mammoth steaks instead of beef. Um, I mean, that is that is my one of my fascinations with this stuff is the idea of being able to create lab grown meat so you can have meat without any of the guilt. Uh, and I think maybe even more than cows and stuff, we should be thinking about fish. How do we make fish? Because, you know, these giant sea trawler things that are sucking up you know, every last fish and animal in the sea, you know, it's just, it's just unsustainable. It would be like, it's the equivalent of us, of, of instead of us farming cows, we just, uh, they would just free, they would not just free range, but they were just, they were just basically out in the wild. 
So it'd be basically us trying to hunt and kill the whatever existing cows were there without actually, you know, putting anything back into the system. Uh, that's basically how the, the fishing industry works right now. We're just sucking huge amounts of fish out. And of course, I'm the worst because I, I love my tins of tuna. I love my, I've got to say, I love my haddock and chips. I'm also a huge fan of uh, kippers in the breakfast. In the breakfast? Have you had kippers for breakfast? Breakfast, mommy dear, mommy dear. David is a curiosity. I'm a curiosity? Um, all right. Uh, I think a company is already doing that with the lab-grown meat. Yes, there is. Captain Catherine, there's definitely a couple of companies, and I've looked into them. Um, oh, sci-fi gal. That's very sweet of you. Thank you. Lab-grown meat is in Westworld. Looks interesting. Yeah, it's everywhere, as it should be. Um, you know, uh, I've been fascinated with this for years and years and years. Um, you know, uh, what's up with what's what's uh, what's James R. Gurney being lazy about? Uh, yeah, James, you would probably I, th I think you'd get a kick out of this uh, Life on the Edge book. Uh, I think I mentioned it last time we last time we spoke, even though nobody recorded it. <laughs> Poor Dr. N. Ph.D. He's had nothing but audio problems. And the last time we got together, we could hear each other fine. But nobody, as it turns out, on the live stream i guess when they transferred the stream or something it, it, for some reason the audio was lost so it's just a lot of kind of thing so you know i tried to read a book about natural selection when i was seven years old wow even my fairy i was always trying to read books like that punched way way above my 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 weight um and i think as a result i think i i sort of freaked myself out i want you know i i was one of those kids who wanted to run before i walked i'm not very good at doing the the boring legwork stuff. So I think that's why tech band is to some extent is my hope to just get people excited enough that they'll they'll take those they take those early boring steps to get where they need to get. Although, again, I was so freaking impressed with Vibe Pup yesterday. This uh, so one of our tech bandits kids yesterday uh, dressed up as a raccoon for his an anonymity. To protect his anonymity, he dressed up as a raccoon, the face mask and everything, and then did an unboxing. And a little a little piece on uh, on these Mark Rober kits that I sent him. So one of the wonderful things about everyone being so kind is to you know subscribe and join Patreons and all that kind of stuff. They uh, I I could do things like oh they, I mean like I got an email from I got a, a Discord message from from Vibe Pup saying hey have you heard that Mark Rober has these new science kits out and so I just ordered them. Originally, I was going to order them for myself because I'm a selfish bastard. Um, but then I thought ah it's not really the point, is it, David? So I ended up uh, buying him. Uh, buying him a gift subscription to this thing so he could try it out. And um, and on and basically I said, look, if you can, you know, send me a video or a couple of pictures of, you know, of you doing it so that we can, you know, we can sh you can share your experiences, give us a review or whatever. And the guy went, he just went, you know, out of, at like just over, above and beyond, you know, came in with a, with a suitable wardrobe and, um, and then did a whole, built them and, and talked us through. It's, it's great. It's fantastic. Anyways. Um, but, 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 but have you ever used an AI map builder before? No dungeon alchemist. That sounds kind of fun. My brother's dying for a Mark Rober kit. LOL. Oh, I tell you, they're fun. They're really fun. How old is your, uh, is your brother? Even my fairy. Um, wolf pup is a star. It's true. That kid, I'm telling you, that kid, he could, if he wants to do, he should be, if we do a TV show and Vibe Pup wants to be on it, he's there. I got it. No problem. Seven years old. Oh, man, you get him started early. That's great. Yeah, yeah. Set him up. For God's sake, that's amazing. I don't think they're crazy expensive. Like, I feel like they're, you know, says Mr. Privilege over here in his blanket fort. Um, Wolf Pup looked like he's having so much fun yesterday. Yeah, he did, didn't he? He sort of. He seemed, he had that sort of like sparkle in his eye about it. Anyways, it was good. It was good. I'm glad to see it happen. Um, yeah, they're, they're pretty neat. It's called Crunch Labs, I believe is what it's called. Um, you know, yeah, I mean, that's it. Wolf Pup. I mean, even like, uh, you know, uh, Raccoon Noodles or Noodles the Raccoon, whatever she calls herself now, uh, or they call themselves now. I, I, you know, I'm sure there's, there's, I'm, I'm, I'm sure they would do fine on, on television as well. Uh, and that's the idea. I also really, really want to get, uh, oh, what's that? Posted a link in science stuff about a biogenesis on Discord. Oh, fantastic. Okay, thank you, Mark. I shall go to Discord immediately and see that. Uh, let me go back to Magic Musings while I jump in here and don't, I, I, I never know what I'm allowed or not allowed to give away in these things. All right, so I go to our chat. I go to, what do we call it? Something Musings. Science musings, writing bandits, uh, science stuff. I'm guessing that was it. There we go. Um, 
SpaceX shows off its huge dome window on Dragon for private inspiration. Wow. Okay. Uh, neurodiversity. Very good. Thank you, Klingon, for that. Um, this is uh, polluters told to dump risky sewage into rivers as Brexit disrupts. Oh, boy. Uh, Candy. Candy's got always got the, the finger on the pulse of, uh, of, our, of our polluting of planets. Uh, SpaceX webcast, SpaceX webcast. Oh my God, I'm so behind on this. Let's go. I'm going to scroll right down to the bottom. Sorry to ignore everybody. Hopefully I won't. Uh, a biogenesis. In biology, a biogenesis is, or the origin of life is the natural process by which life has arisen from non-living material or matter, such as uh, simple organic compounds. The prevailing scientific hypothesis is the transition from non-living to living entities was not a single event, but an evolutionary process of increasing complexity that involved the formula. It stops there. And then it stops. Um, yeah, that makes sense to me. The idea that it's that it doesn't it didn't happen. Yeah, I mean that it wasn't a sudden jump. Uh, I mean there were sudden jumps, I suppose, like when you know that single cell organism swallowed another single cell organism and it didn't need it. It 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 uh, incorporated into its into its uh, its own structure. I thought it was kind of it was kind of a neat jump. I think. Um, Speaking of SpaceX, I saw the Starlink thing a few days ago, and everyone thought it was a UFO because we didn't know about Starlink yet. Really? It was funny. We So we were out in um, uh, northern Ontario, uh, out in the middle of nowhere, and it was just so funny because they're, it's so clear. Boy, those legs are really in the way. I can't get closer. Um, you know, the, 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 it's very, very clear, this line of satellites as they come across. It looks really cool, but there is a part of me that went, wait a second. Whose sky is that? Like, really? Who's, who has, is it, so really you pay enough money to somebody and they let you put new stars up in the sky? Like, it's just kind of a, it's a, it's a question I'd never really asked before. I love the idea of it because I love the idea of putting things into space myself. I think that's amazing. The idea, when I first heard about these little tiny, um, you know, orbiting, uh, sensors and stuff that you can put up. I, I find that absolutely fascinating. But at the same time, I go like, but wait a second. Like, so, you know, so you're rich, so you can basically change the entire night sky because you you want to, you know, set up new new um, new internet service. I mean, which by the sound of it, I don't, like, tell me if I'm wrong. I mean, I love the idea that it's being used in, in Ukraine, um, you know, where, where the internet is being disrupted, where other forms of internet are being disrupted. It gets, that's a brilliant use of it. I just don't know that is it is it living up to the expectations that it had when when it started. I mean, I you know I just installed my Starlink dish a couple of weeks ago. I get at least 150 megabits to just over 250 megabits. What is that? Is that that's down? What about up? What's the what's the up uplink speeds like? Um, and how does that mark? How does that? I don't even know how that compares to like regular internet. I just saw last week that they have an ex enterprise version where the dish is like 50% bigger. We backed a big dishes in our backyard. So the bigger the dish, the better the reception. Like, how does that work? Oh, my volume is low. My volume is low because I'm way, way far away from my, yeah, sorry. This is, um, I've got like a pole holding up my, oh, do I? It's not actually holding anything up. Okay, that's a bad design. There you go, and I can get rid of that and I can move a little closer. Even better. Even better, he says. Uh, what if I, can I put that down over there? Is that gonna? This is when I start knocking cables out of the back of the computer. There we go. Now I can cozy up much closer. How's that? Starlink, Starlink fails in high heat, too. My buddy here in Vegas has problems with it constantly. Um, poor David in his blanky fort. Bad for your posture. Is it bad for my posture? I get my blanket. Everything's bad for my posture. I've got the crappiest posture ever. I keep telling my son to sit up, and I'm like, who am I to say this? Um, what is... What have I got here? I've got a whole bunch of rewards here. What is that? It's a cool looking thing. What is that? Oh, I guess that's the wrong. I'm on the wrong page. What is that? Hullbreaker Horror. Look at that beast. Oh, that's some cool stuff here. I think it'd be really fun to see what would happen if you typed this stuff into. Ooh, I like these. What? Oh, if they got some new artists going. Oh, these are better. I wasn't liking the last artist. So, I mean, no offense to the artist, but it was just not not the style that I particularly liked. Hagra Constrictor, nice. Skyclave, Shadowcat, some cool stuff here. Um, all right. What have we got? I love the blanket fort. Thank you, Captain Catherine. Um, it's about the same size as a direct TV dish net, ExpressView TV. Okay, I'm curious whether they 
whether you've used an AI map builder. I have not, Dungeon Alchemist. No, I have not. Uh, so, and what is that for? Is that an AI map builder for Dungeons and Dragons? Or like, what is it? How does it, uh, how does it work, Dungeon Alchemist? Tell me. Talk to me. Uh, how much is Starlink for setup and monthly? I have no idea. Let's find out. Let's go and have a look. Let's go see how much it costs. All right. Let's go. Starlink. Oh, you know what? I don't have. I don't have the. Do I have the chat in here? I don't have the chat in here. Do I, I need to do that? Um. All right. Starlink. What does it cost? Is there a shop? It's always a little bit cryptic. I find these things. Uh, residential. Here we go. Residential. Order it now. Let's see what the deal is. Mm. All right. Here we go. Although I don't think Jane will let me have any more. No, is that? King City, Ontario. Screw that. That's not me. I'm looking for ordering it now. All right, I'm clicking order it now to see what happens. I'm assuming it won't get charged immediately. Okay, uh, hardware is $759. Bucks. Uh, shipping and handling is $65. Bucks. Holy crap. Uh, taxed, $107. Service is $140 a month. And service tax is $18.20 a month. So for a, a deposit due is $129. Um, but, uh, but as they say, like, what are the speeds? So... Um, I wonder what it does it say what the speeds are on this thing? I guess I could maybe share this with peeps. Good night. Uh, browser and I. That's not a browser. Hey, it's not a browser. This is a browser. Uh, what do we got here? Let's look at the browser. Let's see what I've got for you. Oh, I want to add the chat too, don't I? Where is the chat? Chat window. Shouldn't that be up? Well, that's weird. Why don't I see the chat? Um, well, that's Chrome there. I can see Chrome, but that ain't the chat, is it? Um, so, so this is the Starlink thing I was looking at. High speed, low latency. So with high speeds and latency as low as 20 milliseconds in most locations. What if it's in mine? Starlink enables video calls, online gaming, streaming, other high data rate activities. Or Starlink might be possible. Um, I mean, look, I like the idea of it. That's for sure. Requires everything you need to get online, including your Starlink Wi-Fi router, cables, and base. Requires a clear view of the sky to connect. That's not a problem. Uh, ideal for rural and remote, com remote communities. I'm guessing preserving the night sky? Say what? Starlink leads the industry in innovations to reduce satellite brightness, minimize the impact on astronomy, and protect the natural night sky for all to enjoy. Well, I think you've failed that, preserving the night sky, unless you're going to get up there and paint them all kind of... I mean, I think that's what they were doing. Were they painting them like black metallic or something was was kind of the was that was the approach that they were taking um that's not it that's not it is that it window capture is that it no is that it no chat capture is that it no um nope there's people there's people everywhere i can hear people trying to get into the house as we speak um, I'm just going to double check, make sure I'm not missing out on Gigagimpy G. Where is he? Just check in. Uh, he did say he could be up to an hour, so I don't want to. I'm not going to. Yeah, he's off. I'm not going to. I'm not going to bother him. Um, I'm hoping he's not low. I'm hoping he's just not. I'm hoping he's just. Uh, he's not. I'm hoping, I'm hoping he's not just feeling low. All right, here we go. Okay, so chat window. There was a way to do this, wasn't it? Can I chat settings? Hmm. This is the stream chat that I've got right here. It's wonderful. That's great. Okay. Oop. Nowhere to go. God damn it. What have I done? Okay. All right. Uh, chat settings. Just trying to figure out if there's a way. Normally I add the switch to non-mod settings. I guess non-mod settings. Then I can do pop out, right? Hmm. Like to do this. God, it'd be so much easier if I could just. Okay, let's just do this. Chat settings. There you go. Okay. Pause. Deleted pause. Ugh, it's just so frustrating. 
It was, I got to say, it was so easy on Streamlabs to do this stuff. I, it's possible I may, I may, I may have to support the devil. Um, all right. Let me see if I can do it this way. If I go to here and go back to my little Twitter setup. Okay. We go. And if I go to the chat on this, let me see if I can do this. Please talk amongst yourselves. It'll be amazing. Uh, my channel. There we go. There's my channel. I'm going to mute it because otherwise I'm going to be talking twice. I'm going to take our stream chat. I'm going to pop it out. Pop, 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 pop it out. Pop it out. Pop out that chat, baby. Let me take this, copy this, paste this back into the chat, and we are going to be rocking the cash bar. Okay. Which I know is not the way it's supposed to be. Uh, Twitch chat. Twitch chat. There you go. Bingo. Done, baby. Chat window. Bringing it up. Look at that. Now we'll see you. Now we'll see you little devils and all you have to say. Uh, what's the best way to do this? How big do I want to make it? Pop, 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 pop. I guess that's probably big enough because then we can see. Oh, that man, I see it's a little bigger maybe. How about that? All right, stream chat. I don't think I need to see all that. I can just do that. There you go. Okay. And hopefully I haven't just like... It should auto-update it, and I'm not sure that it is. Is it? That seems to be... Pop Out Chat is one of my favorite songs. Pop out the chat. Pop it out. Pop it out. Okay. Uh, we can move this a little bit so we can sort of see this. Although that's going to be way too small for actually watching Magic the Gathering, isn't it? Uh, all right, what do we got? Uh, I have a stamp thing for one month sub. Woohoo! Even my fairy. Okay. That is exciting. Now, I want to see... Let's go back to our little Discord thing for a second here because I wanted to see if I could find some of the... I started messing around with our with our Judge Dread stuff, with our amazing Cal. I wanted... I tried, I tried... I don't know why it went this way. I don't know why it chose to go this way, but but it did. Uh, so I'm going to... I'll walk you through some of the, some of the, the, uh, the dreads that I did. All right, so let me go back in here and share this. Browser and I. Ah, the browser and I. No, go to go to the Discord sharing. Here. Oh, hello. It's me over here. Um, me in a little bit. Okay. So this is, I know that Cal loves it when it's all about her. So that's, of course, why I'm doing it. Um, I'm going to go to my Discord. So this is how I started. I started with this, you know. And, uh, and then I wonder if there's a, is there a link to my page? I wonder if there is. Let's do this. Let's see what happens here. Is there a page of all of my all of my stuff? Oh, that'd be really good. Dream Machine's output? Does that work? Let's see what happens if I do this. Access denied. Denied. Okay, so that's not letting me do that. Okay, I just thought it'd be kind of fun to just run through all of them. But uh but okay, here you go. So that's where I started. Okay, which is kind of fun. I don't know why it has so many thumbs. I don't know why it's a he. Um and then I started playing around. I thought, well, what about Judge Shed wielding a giant hammer? How great would that be? And so we started going that route. And then let me go right down. I'm going to scroll like right, right down to where we ended up, which was oh, in like in here. There you go. Check this out. Check that out. Again, underimpressed. I don't understand why it has so many problems with the idea of a hammer. For some reason, it has a real problem with a hammer. Um... You know, and then there's there was another one that I oh like check these out. Okay, look at this. Look at this. See again, it didn't really work very well. But I like the that the hammer head I thought was kind of fun. Though I would say it does not work. It does not work. That's just weird little body parts all squashed together and stuff. It's kinda of creeping me out. Um but anyway, so I haven't really I have not mastered the cal yet. I have not mastered the cal on this yet. Um I'm working on it. Uh, oh, this doesn't have the chat window, does it? Hmm. Hmm. If I copy this, copy, and then paste it to the Discord sharing, uh, or will it? That's fine. Do that. Oh, I see. It's because it's not in the right. It's not in the right place. There you go. Uh, in fact, it's got to be. Now, what do I do? Do I put it over here? I'm just moving stuff around all the time. There you go. It looks like a toaster. Yeah, unicorns are a bit weird too. Are they, it has a hard time with unicorns as well. Gippy G, are you around, Gippy G? Are, you, are, we, are we chatting? Are we, are we doing this chat thing? Is that it? 
Uh, I missed a call. It lasted a few seconds today at 3.32. Was that here? Am I? Okay. Am I? Did I get it right? Did I get it right? Hey. Was that? I'm here. You, are you, did you mean to be here? Are you yeah. fed? You're fed. You're rested. You're, 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 you're good to go. I am. We, we had like a little run in thing. If anybody's interested. Oh, but... really? What's happened with the run in thing? Okay. I told you that a nasty mean lady took over our. Oh yeah. Insurance. Bad cop. Well, what they didn't know hmm. was that we're such nice people. It's true. The other good cop actually gave us his private number. <gasps> really? So we find out he was just had a family emergency, and he's coming back Monday. Oh, perfect. But she told us, all well, perfect, kind of. She told us he's never coming back, and we got to deal with her. No. And she, yes. And the, uh, she's just okay. making crap up? She, I guess he's just having a real fun evil time. Jeez. So the company that took some of our belongings out of the house. Yeah. That could be salvaged. Yeah. They were supposed to hold it and put it back in our home. Right. Where they found it. Right. Okay? Backstory. Gimpy yeah. G uh, had uh, James, Ar- James R. Gurney had burned yeah. his house down. And uh, so he's basically yeah. without without any of his assistive stuff, without any of his belongings, you know, and it's struggling with the insurance companies to get this stuff sorted out. True. True. Sorry about that, everybody. No, no, that's okay. No, no. I Most people I then, probably know what we're talking about now, but just on the off chance, I thought, you know. That's like a TV sense, thing. It's a TV sense. thing. It's like it, a TV submission yeah. thing. Yeah. And if you have questions, please ask. Yeah, yeah. I'm an open book. So anyways, that company, she has, I guess, been giving them such a hard time about wanting, uh, I, I don't know, like items they have already provided, mm. received, I think. They're not a great company anyway. They mm. only took out half of the uh, uh, installation. Oh, and right. Just took, yeah. But anyways, so now next week we have to have uh, even more storage space here in Fort Morgan because they're going to dump it whether we have a place or not. So, what? They're they saying... They to hold our items now. And it has nothing to do with us, just the insurance company. So they're mad at the insurance company, so they're dumping your stuff back at your place. So they're dumping our stuff, yeah, here. So there was a lot of... Don't they know who you are? Yeah. They have no idea of my significant importance to myself. Oh, my God. To my my buddy. But that doesn't, like, I don't understand. Shouldn't they be paying for storage? That's the whole point of insurance is they're supposed to look after you and your stuff. Where's well, the American family in this? It's Ameri- Is that right? American family? Is that the name of your insurance American company? American family insurance. And, but yeah. as soon as this gal took over, it wasn't, you know, American family. The, the family it was, was like American the psycho. Or something. It was American <laughs> psycho. It went, it went full. They went after you. Um, that, I, uh, I just, I feel like, like, I understand the frustration of just renovation. I can't imagine the frustration yeah. of renovation that's supposed to be replacing stuff on that you've been like you've been paying the insurance all this time that's the whole freaking point of right. it and all right we've never missed it and we put extra coverage on items mm. because we thought well you know what if my wheelchair burns up or yeah. you know i had that lift and things and they're they're not they're still not going to cover the lift they're not doing the so, lift what why not the lift no, the, the idea there was uh, Medicaid should pay for that. Well, Medicaid said we did pay for that. It's we've already paid for it once, so yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh so my God. Should pay for it. See Eva Maferi. Like, Thanks oh, for coming okay. by. Um, sorry, I'm just thinking about Eva Maferi, who's taken off now. Uh, oh, hi. So, I, I, so we're so what? You're just gonna what? What do you do? Like get a pot or something to put it all in? Like what do you? What, where do you put your stuff? Yes, I, I think sister probably. Sister, what do you do? Order another storage space? Right oh, she's working on it right now. You should totally bug her about it a lot because I'm sure that would really help. Yeah. 
I think just in the way keeping her keeping her mood her mood jolly. Um, yeah. Yeah, that sucks. Okay, so she's now got to figure out a place to put everything. Even so, so they've stalled the house. They've stalled the house out with this new person coming in. And so you're behind right. anyways. They're behind in that they've just kept you waiting all this time. And now they're saying like, well, that's it. Here's all your stuff. Because you haven't jumped on it? Because you haven't jumped on the rebuilding of your home? Um, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, we did. We were ready. But it, they didn't even come and get a lot of the stuff out of the house till April. Yeah, that was worrying me too. Because the amount of time that that stuff's just sitting there in water. I mean, good luck recovering yeah, some of that stuff. There was no now. electricity yeah. In the house because the city shut it off. Yeah. And it wasn't turned back on until recently because the electricians got just got done. No, that's, that's I don't know. crazy frustrating. The uh, construction guy is totally different. Right. He's like, we're going to get you back in your house by October. Okay. Right. The very beginning of October. I don't care if I have to. Just in time to watch me on weekends. Cabinet of Curiosities. It's a, I can't wait. I'm sorry. I just I love that, you know, your you know, your life is in turmoil and, and I and I take the opportunity to pitch a TV show. <laughs> hey, sales. Always be always sales. Sales. sales, kid. That's me, baby. I'm all about yeah. the sales. Uh, <laughs> I just wonder if your shoulders are gonna like repair by the time I, the show well, actually I'll, airs. I'll tell you a little up a little update on that. I Okay. I reached around and put my belt through every loop in my pants this morning. And yes, it was not comfortable. It was it hurt to move my arms that way, but it was possible, which I think is an improvement. Okay, just a little a tip from, yeah. from the Gimpy G. Yeah. Don't say you reached around and then follow with the belt. Start with okay. the belt. All right, start with the belt. And then say, I was yeah. putting my belt on, so I had to reach around myself. Correct. To, Correct. There you go. Correct. Much better. See? Because if you lead with reach around, ooh. This is no this is the problem. This is why uh, you got to be so careful with this whole AI image generator, right? It's like you've got to try to figure out right. what. I know that Barnacles was like, "Oh, I'm going to make it do dirty things." I was like, "No, dude, you're not." Like, it's so no it wouldn't even do shirtless Momoa, and everyone knows that's you know that's just basically standard fare. That's standard right, People that's magazine it. stuff. Yeah, you know? it, isn't that the uh, natural state of a Momoa? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the guy. I don't think he owns a shirt, does he? Uh, Waxville. Hello, first time chatter, Waxville. Who else we got in here? Let's see. I saw another one popping up here. It's the first time. Magnet Hearts. First time here. I really like the rules. Uh, they're fun, aren't they? Purple Hearts. I'll definitely be back. Well, then, good. thank you for coming by. Uh, Dal Dungeon Alchemist was saying, have I ever tried, uh, this? Have you ever done this? Like, AI-generated maps? But I don't know whether they meant maps as in Dungeons & Dragons maps, or how does it... How does it I work? think they were saying something about Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, when I popped in. Yeah, Captain Catherine raises a good point. It rendered him shirtless, anyways, because every image out there is Jason without a oh, shirt yeah, on. It did, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. And it even put a bikini top on him. It is AI powered map making for TTRPG. What's TT? What's the TT part of RPG? T -T. Tabletop, tabletop. Got it. Tabletop oh, RPG. Cool. Aha! Got it. See, genius. Um, systems such as D and D uh, allows you to build environmental or battle maps in seconds. Oh, that's cool. Things to get terrifyingly on mid journey. Yeah, things do get terrifying on mid journey quickly. Everything. Have you noticed this though, though, Lance? That everything is creepy, creepy or sad. It is. It defaults to it's creepy or sad. Odd. Yeah, I have to put in joyful, happy in order just to get like a freaking smiling raccoon out of the thing. Uh, that that is interesting. I wonder. Uh, Ooh, I, th I, th I somebody mentioned that basically we're doing the uh, infinite monkeys typing on infinite typewriters thing, uh, it, you know. And so I said, "Wait a minute, that makes us the editors. We're the, the monkey infinite editors. Monkeys. Yeah, basically. Right, because we're picking and choosing which one we like, and then having them work on that instead. Uh, I'd love to try a Dungeon Alchemist. I mean, I guess send us a link or something. Can you do that? Is there a if I yeah. give you a? Uh, oh, we can do it here. Can I not? Oh, no, I, I guess you can't because then, oh, you're right. Wait a sec, yeah. Uh, I would do the email. Do, just, just, just email me and, and mention uh, Dungeon Alchemist in the in the email, and I'll uh, I'll try to keep an eye out for it. Um, David I. Hewitt at gmail.com. Or he can consider joining the Discord. Uh, the Discord oh, huge. Oh, that's true. There's a lot of stuff on Discord. Yeah, you're right. Do the Discord thing. That's a smart idea, too. Uh, 
Look at that. I guess the, 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 the stream is that much far behind the chat that uh, yeah. that I've already answered the question. See, it's like, I'm, it's like I'm psychic. I've already answered the question. Uh, I think there's – th is there not like, like an yeah. – I spoke, I spoke over the top of you That's when the, you gave the email, so I'll, I'll hush. Yeah, let's see. Is that – Like in your email. Does that do – does that work? No. Is it slash email or is it oh – God, it's been – God, I hate modding. I suck at modding. Uh, yeah, let me see. How do I use the bot again? It's an exclamation mark, isn't it? I don't know. I feel like it is. Yeah, exclamation Discord. But what is email, though? Do I not have... I thought I had one for my email. Maybe not. Huh. I know James gurney has got one explaining his uh, burning down house. So. I, yeah, he's also got... He also modified the one here that he, that he, he, gets, it, he self-promotes himself instantly. It's amazing. The, oh, man, yeah, yeah. the man, the myth, the monster, James R. Gurney. Um, I like I the. I love the idea that. of trying to drag him into uh, trying to drag him into a t into a, a science TV show as like Doctor Perfect. I think that's great. There you go. See, James Gurney's got it. He's got yeah, he Gurney. Is. I'm glad that Gurney can figure out the night. But how the f do you send? How do I get my email out there? Isn't there like a, a night bot for the email? My name is James Gurney. I burned down the house of my good friend Gimpy G so I could steal all the viewers from his stream. I will now shamelessly self-advertise. Here's my Twitch stream. See, there you go. That's it. Uh, commands. Oh, does it give you a list of commands? I, I cut up. Okay, let me see. I don't want to. Can I open that in a different? Open oh. it in a new window. There you go. Opening it in a new window. Here we go. Is there, I thought oh, it was. Oh, it's just exclamation e. e. That's it. There you go. All right. You should have figured you did the easiest thing possible. I think knowing me, right. I would have typed out email. It's probably that Cal. Because really? Cal is much more efficient than I am on these things. But she doesn't have a blanket for it. If you look, though, at her dread, dread drawings, she only possesses thumbs. I know. It's weird, so, isn't it? It's weird. Maybe, I think we've got to figure that out better. Know, we need to come yeah. up with a better... I was trying to say, like, sledgehammer in the foreground. It, none of it was working. Like, none of it worked. Everything I tried, it's like it was actively working against me. Then I realized that putting in Cal doesn't really help because it's Cal who. You know what I mean? So, uh, well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know you put a woman or something in one of them. Yes. Yeah. Right? I try, I just, I just tried a whole bunch of different stuff and try, just trying to get something. Honestly, I just wanted to, to break the chain of bad images that it was doing. Um, I think we should just, I think we should just make it, just call it like a, just write down, you know, let's try, you know, I got one. I got an idea. I got a suggestion. I got an idea. Let's see. Okay. I'm going okay, okay, to okay. Discord sharing. Oh, I'm in Discord sharing. Okay. I'm going to go Discord sharing. And what, is this the window? Oh, for God's sake. For God's <laughs> sake, Gippy G. What have I done? What have I done? What's All right. going on? I know. What's going on? Okay. So I don't think I need that. Can I get rid of that? There we go. I'm going to move this over. Got a bit of room. Look at that. Okay. So let's do a little, little let's do a little mid journey. Okay. Uh, all right. Just first off, let me share all of our personal emails. Uh, here we go, James Midjourney Bot. Okay. All right. So I'm going to scroll all the way down. I'm scrolling all the way down. Uh, I was telling, I don't know if you noticed this, I was telling them about how I, I'm going to, I'm trying to create like some production stills for a pitch for the science show, but I'm using the AI for it. Okay. Okay. Which is kind of cool, right? So, oh, really? okay. So here is my suggestion for Cal. I think we should try this. We should try this. Imagine. Female hammer. <laughs> Just that. See what it comes up with. Imagine a female hammer. Here we go. Okay, so. See what it comes up with. I'm curious to know what it plays with here. Can we see it? Can everyone see it uh, churning away? Thinking, thinking, thinking. Here we go. Female hammer. I don't think where I would see it. I guess I just have to go on the... Here we go. Female hammer. Here we go. So far, I've got a female it looks like I've got well, I've got long hair. Nice. Anyways, I see long hair. Not much else. Uh, here's an interesting thing. It always defaults to white women. Yeah, and white I guess guys. Judge Dredd. Well, although I look at that, that that looks like it looks like it has. Um, I don't know the name of the term, the religious headwear thing. Uh, is it hijab? Is that is that what it's called? What's it? What is it called? The the uh, the head the headscarf thing. Oh, I think you might be right. Or um, that might be the whole thing. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not. It is a hijab. Hijab. There you go. Or a niqab. 
Wow, there's lots of different terms for it. I don't know. Um, okay, so uh, it's religious. Is, is it? It's religious, right? It's like a religious yeah. thing, as opposed to yeah. I'm um, I'm not a big I'm not a big fan of religious. Um, okay, what do we got? Yeah, Discord. No. Here we go. Uh, there was another whole thing about uh, about abuse in the Catholic Church this morning on the radio, and I was like, oh, oh really? my god, it's just like endless, just endless. Uh, okay, I've moved that over. I think have I moved that over. It's Actually, amazing how rich that religion is. Oh my god! Very rich. I mean, you start wondering if that's the point. Oh, okay, so. That's, hmm. I don't see hammer. Do you get hammer? I mean, I get hammer out of the out of the bottom left. I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah, go again. I'm, I think I'm just gonna just make. It, I'm gonna say no. Bad AI. Go again. Because it's not it hasn't oh, got it right. Call, good call. Just you know, reach try. Bad. It that's it. Just I you've I am disappointed in you. I had high hopes, and you've presented me with Ooh. with, you know. A, that you how know is what? that a female a hammer? <laughs> that's it it needs to be it's try <laughs> gonna it's punish so this is how the this is how the ai revolt starts you know that right what the hell is that interesting that a female hammer is bent and made out of bone it's kind okay, of I'm creepy behind you a little bit so it was looking pretty naughty it's odd i don't understand what they what female they got out of that top left one i gotta say there's something about the second one that i like right you just said female hammer i just wrote down female hammer hmm. and i got a, a, is it a femur maybe that's what maybe i thought femur maybe i thought i'd spelt oh. it wrong or something you know but where i i just don't get all right, what if we type in hammerhead? See if that works. Then we're going to get the shark, okay. aren't we? Okay. All right. Uh, we all could. right. How about hammerhead woman? How about that? Hammerhead woman. Here we go. Let's see what we got. So you're trying to hack it, basically, right? In a well, way. yes. Figuring and, out what language it's responding to better. But this is what's neat about it, is right? Is it's it is just the reverse of the, the first iteration of this was it trying to describe what was in an image, right? So this right. is just a reverse of what they were originally trying to do. They're like, okay, we've got this thing. We've trained this AI on a billion, billion, billion images to, to, to be able to know what something is. Well, now let's reverse that algorithm in a way and say, present us with something that looks like what we've text, what the text we put in, which I think is really interesting. Okay. Uh, again, I'm, there, it's struggling with this hammerhead thing. It's a pretty lady at the bottom right, but. Pretty lady at the bottom right, but I, with just, with a really big neck. I don't really know what, why does oh, she have she scales? Like that one gal. What does it mean? Um, uh -oh. I just don't know why they've got scales. It seems like an odd, an odd choice. Uh. It's an alternative wraith. Maybe. Yeah, it is true. It is very sort of wraith-like, isn't it? Oh. It is quite wraith-like. Uh, it's like Do a... Sharks it's like Not really. No, because a shark doesn't have... Like, literally doesn't have scales. So I don't even know where that's coming from. Right. Uh, what does Cal think so far? Cal, you got any suggestions? What else can we type in? Is there anything else we can be typing in here? Is Cal here? Cal's probably just given up again. Because as soon as she knew that I was talking about her again, even though it was, if it was in an AI she format, took off. she like took off. She's like, gone. Forget it. I'm out of here. Screw this. Oh, no, she's what here. Come on, Cal. Give us some suggestion. Give us something. Just give us just a little something. What if Cal is AI? What, Maybe what, that's the problem. What if you said, Cal, female moderator with hammer? Oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah, let's try that. Female moderator with hammer and attitude, yes. I'll say. Okay, imagine. Female moderator. Oh, me. What, you banned me? Oh, ban hammer. Well, that could work too. Uh, female moderator with hammer or holding Ooh. hammer? Oh, yeah. Let's try that. And holding then, and like then we can also try, we can try uh, a ban, ban hammer. See what that does too. See what that does. Uh, once again, Cal is being incredibly, you know, giving and sharing about her own existence. 
Uh, what really is, does. What is happening? Uh, she's, I mean, hey, Cal, come on, stop showing off. She's so social. Hey. It's just, it's, yeah. Um, one day, Cal and I, one day, Cal and I are going to go out and drink uh, some kind of monk beer that she likes to have. One day, I'll be out there. And we're going to drink a monk's beer. Uh, okay. What's a monk beer? I don't know. She drinks some kind of weird, it's like some kind of weird expensive beer that she likes to have like once a year or something. It's, you know. Oh, she's English, yeah. huh? Uh, yeah, we're doing the cow with the hammer thing again. Yes, Ank. We got to get it right. Ooh. Ban ham. Oops. What happened to ban hammer? These are terrible. What is it? What, a laser? Like a laser hammer? What is there's one that actually says Banhammer, but they spelled hammer wrong. Like, because it never spells. It ne Cal says, I wish we weren't. Why, Cal? Uh. No one has to know it's about you. Um, okay, this says more about you than us. Yeah, I got nothing. Those just, I mean, there's kind of, you know what? This kind of fun. That hammer flying through the sky is kind of fun. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how about a person that is a hammer? What's it? What characters are there? Any characters? How did it spell hammer. Uh, it's with an N. Oh, there it is. H a m n e r, which is just mm. odd because it's not like I didn't spell it out for them. Maybe I spelled it wrong. Uh, there's this weird kind of Amish woman with a with a selfie camera. I don't quite understand where, what's happening with these ones here. Cal Maybe she would be banned from the Amish if she took oh, a selfie. Oh, possible. That's possible. And what's with the bowl? There's like a woman sitting. I just don't know. It's just the oddest. If only I could get inside the brain of this AI. Cal, are you Amish? Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, never know. Maybe it's just incredibly accurate. You know what is? Wait, wait, wait. What's a common name in Amish communities? Would it be Cal? I don't know. Could be. She or is Amish. There you go. Amish Hammer. That's what we need. That's like Army Hammer. <laughs> only, only it's Amish Hammer. Yeah. Uh, all right. I, I don't think she's Amish. I could be wrong, but I think she might be messing with us. Uh, come on, there's got okay. Give me an give me. Is there a superhero that had? Wasn't there a superhero called Hammerhead? Uh, there was a guy named Steel who his thing is he had a big hammer. Yeah, I think he was one of the replacements for Superman when he died. Cal just said she's going to be right back. Got to go feed her cattle. <laughs> <laughs> Try playing things like lightning and mood. Yeah, something like MC, <laughs> MC Hammer. I'm not typing MC Hammer. Um, okay. Uh, come on, there's got to be... Well, the, give me, the, wasn't there a villain in, in um, yeah. Spider-Man who was called like Hammerhead or something? Or Rhino? Yes. There was. No, there was I know there was, was Rhino. Yeah, but, but I feel like there was... more of a mob guy. Grendel? Like a weird shaped head. Who's Grendel? I like the sound of that. Grendel? Grendel's, uh, who, who wrote that? That was Mark LaPointe. Uh, it's one of those epic poems. Yeah. But he was also, yeah, a, there was that, also a Thor's hammer. Do something with Majoin, Majolner. What's that? Oh, yeah, Molnir. Who's that? Molnir is Thor's hammer. Oh, oh, I see. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, so what can we imagine then? What is that noise? Oh, sawing. Okay, all right. It's fine. Never mind. I thought it was someone like leaning on their horn. Okay. Yes, I know the poster style and stuff. I love the style. The, the We've done the artist style stuff. It's fantastic. I'm just, right now, I just want to get some kind of a right. personification of a hammer. Um, so is how do we do this? There's got to be a way to trick the AI into doing this properly. So female. Just a hammer. Okay. Yeah, what do you get when you just type hammer? That's a good point. Okay, hammer. Like battle go. hammer? Is that what we want? Cal, I don't mean to put you on the spot. I'm honestly, I'm just intrigued at how difficult this is for it to get what we're tr what we're going for, right? So let's see what yeah. happens. And so so it's become sort of like a, a puzzle, uh, which I which I kind of want to solve because I feel like once we've once we start to crack how this thing works, we, it'll be so much better at at, at creating uh, embarrassing images for you. Can it render a yacht? A yacht? Yeah. What's a yacht? Yeah. It can't even get a hammer right. Holy crap! That's a hammer with two handles. 
Yes. Wow. I would have thought that would be easy, but I. Hmm. Is that a stool or a hammer? I think it's a hammer, but with two handles. It's a very ornate hammer. It's like a crutch. Or... I think you're right, though. It might make sense to put like it looks like an axe. Exactly. Um, I think what is yat yucha? What is it? Let's try. It. Am I going to get in trouble for doing this? We'll see. I hope the cow's not steered us wrong. Yout. Oh, can it render a Routya. Yow. Should I do a yautja with a hammer? I don't even know what a yautja is. Let's find out. Can I put it in? Oh, you're right. Two-handed hammer, yeah. Oh, is that what it's called? A yautja? A yautja? A yautja? Is it really? Is that what it is? Uh, no. Nord the Barbarian said that two-handled hammer is, you know, Breaking new territory. It is. Okay, I thought so. Because I'm just not sure how exactly... I don't know how you would use a two-handled hammer. Still. I don't know. But uh, in it Viking can, times, you might have been a wizard. It can sort of do... It can sort of do... Star what? Who's that? Who's this Yautja? Explain yourself, woman. A predator. Yes. Ooh. Oh, it's a predator? Sexy is banned, but amorous isn't. Interesting. Wow, Ooh. that's kind of cool. You got some hacks. What if we type in, so what if we type Yautja Hammer? See how that works. What? Oh, no, wait, that was what we got from Yautja. Yes, so now I've typed in Yautja Hammer in the hopes of, so this is what we got from Yautja. Wow. This magical Yautja, which is some kind of a predator of some sort. I think Cal fancies herself a bit of a predator. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Dangerous. Is that a woman in front of a moon? I guess. Or? Is it a moon? Or is it? It's like or an, or antlers or thorns or something. I mean, it's it's. I mean, they're beautiful. They just. I just don't know that they make a lot of. This. Okay, here you go. Where's where's the hammer? We got that yet? Where's the yeah? Oh, somebody said, if I remember correctly, that is the name of the predator race from the movie. It is? Okay, wait, so did That's... I just do Yautja twice without doing a hammer? I thought I'd done... Oh, for God's sake. Oh, for... Jiminy Crickets. Okay, boy, that 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 drilling is just going through my head again. Do you... How well do you hear you don't... the... You don't hear it? No, I, I don't hear it. All right, okay. Well, as long as you're happy. Uh, Yautja... What if we had... Uh... A random word generator, and we put those random words. In See, the and just say, just have it just work sh stuff out as it goes. Okay, Yautja Hammer. Oh, listen, what was the name of the? Hmm, what was the name of the Thor's you hammer? Mjolnir, Mon like M J something something. How do you spell it? Something, Major, something. Major, 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 near, Major near, like that. It, it, yeah, it, well, it's like, yeah, it's, yeah. All right. Okay. So this is for you, Cal. J-O-L. Yeah. N-I-N-I-R. We got it. I got a Yautja Majolnir. See what they do with this. Oh, God, it's like they're in my brain. It's Yautja without the apostrophe. What? I'm glad you hear a mild buzz. Oh, I see. So I've got that wrong, too. Is there anything I could get that isn't right? Okay, Mautja. If I do that... Oh, what do we have happening here? There's something happening, isn't there? Oh. Yeah. That Maybe. is... Maybe. I guess they're on that side of the building now. Eh, I mean, how is that a predatory female? I don't, I, I don't see it. Not seeing it. I mean, do we see anything there? I mean, I guess there's something about that, but I don't also don't see a freaking hammer. I mean, you, I like what it's drawing. But yeah. It doesn't feel like it's, you know. Okay, is there another one we can try out? Like, curiously? Is there, like, is there, like, just out of curiosity, is there another one of these that we could try? I mean, that's some, there's some neat stuff happening here, for sure. Trick, but, what's a large battle hammer called? I don't know. That's a mall. M A U L, right? But I feel like that's. That's just something else that it could get wrong, right? Maul could be, it's mauling someone. It could be Warhammer, but then that's going to give you the game, right? Isn't it? Mallet? Oh, Mallet's not bad. Let's try Mallet. So if we go, I've just discovered you can actually scroll up. 
No, can you? Um, or you? I thought you could. Why not? I just, I just did this. What if I tab? Does tab work? Nope. Go for fluffery net. Damn it! It's so uh, whimsical. It really is. It's Elephant just Elephant tap dancing on Mars. That's okay. That's majestic. Uh, have you got that? Have you seen that? Is that shown up? Uh, okay. So someone's had a really good oh, suggestion. It was mallet. Uh, or do we want to just do our? Do we go with our our? Yout. Youtga. I'm gonna go mallet. What about this? What if I go mallet yautja? I don't know how to say it. Am I saying it right? A mallet yautja. See if that does anything there. Just for the record, is that in a channel on the Discord? No, Ank. It's actually it's 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 its own mid journey. But it's the mid journey bot. So I've got to somehow figure out how to share this with everybody. Um. Uh. But okay, let's find another. Oh, we got more females showing up. Okay, let me have a look here. Uh, let me just have a little look and see if there's a way. If there's another AI that we could be trying, because I know that a lot of people like this Dali one. Uh, with that crayon, crayon one. Which, so. I know it was like lame. Dali creating images from text. Okay, here we go. Is this gonna? Does it have? Can we do this? What? Hmm, huh? View the code. How do we use Dali? Is anyone? Can anyone tell us how to use Dali? Has a really weird pricing system. Oh, does it? API. Okay. Get started. Get started. What am I getting started with? Oh, I'm setting up for a beta again. Gee, God, all right, okay. There was a crayon. That, yeah, it was crayon. Was it Cray AI? Like it wasn't like it was like. A, there you go. Formerly Mini Dally. There you go. What do I want to see? I want to see a female hammer. Let's see what it's doing. Is that you what go. you want to see? I want to see a female hammer. There you go. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, can I bring in the browser window? Can I see another window capture? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Uh, I'm looking. Are there restrictions on this? I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. We will find out. Here you go. It's giving me lots of ads, though. Oh, for God's sake. I don't want to see your damn ads. I'm going to hold it out until... I, I'm, I'm hiding it until the ads are done. Two minutes. So for female hammer, oh, okay. for female hammer for us, right? Right. They had uh, I don't know that one. This one. Female hammer. We typed it in and we got this. Let's see. Hammer fast. Female moderator holding hammer. Hammerhead woman. Female hammer. We got. That's what we got. This is what we got for female hammer. Just, that's okay, I'm, so I'm waiting, weird. I'm very, waiting. very odd. Okay. Holding. Okay. And then if I go to, hmm, if I go back to this, we got anything yet? Okay. We got. Right. Oh, weird. Oh my God, this is that's weird. Me. Okay, so that's the female hammer. Now I'm gonna bring up the other one. Okay, okay. All right. It'll stay for you, obviously, for a bit because we're it's behind. But here we go. This, I would have to say, I right now I am, at least this is getting me a hammer. Like, you know, like at least, at, at least, least this, getting a hammer. at least this, get, we're getting a hammer in there. I would not say any of these particularly well represent Cal or hammers. Uh, like, that is terrible. Oh. Uh, hmm. Okay, that crayon just uses real images. Yeah, which is... And morphs them. Is that what it is? Yeah. A female... Well, okay, what about this? Well, well, so let's try a female moderator holding a mallet. All right? Let's try that. Okay, I love it. I love okay. it. Okay, and we got lots of ads, so they'll love their, their ads. What's this now? This is an ad for what? Is this an ad for Thanks, another... Oh, it's Alchemist. for... Wait a sec, you're on Crayon and it gives you ads for Crayon? Doesn't that seem weird to you? I feel it like they may, be, they may be running a little redundant. low on... Yeah. Crayon cannot do people. It cannot? Ah. We just did people. 
Yeah, people just showed up. They were just look weird looking twisted people though. You know? I did like the Judge Dredd stuff, especially because it gave him like a thumb head. Right. Like, real police. <laughs> like <laughs> That's what you yeah, you want to go to war with the police. That's what you want to do. That would be my that'd be hey, my suggestion. Oh my god, now another to ad? Me out of the theater. Pineapple. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you've had that's right, you've had different experiences. It's very true. Well, we don't have to see this. Watch this. Oh, no, you do. Damn it. Skip the ad. Oh, come oh, on. Try clicking X. Oh, these are just horrendous. Yeah, crayon stinks. Yeah, sorry, crayon, you suck. It says it doesn't do people, so let's. What if we just do a hammer then? With just a hammer. Try that. See what. See what that does. Yeah, it's it's true. It's like let's. What can we put a zombie with? Let's put it with this. Um, I would like. This is so bizarre. Here's what I'd like, and maybe we can talk to Lawrence about that. Actually, we need to talk to Lawrence anyways, for that matter. We do. We really do. But he can help us with this. He could definitely help us with this because the other thing is that you know I would like to have I'd like to be able to run one like understanding that we're not going to do anything stupid with it, but I would like to run one that was unfettered by concerns of you know copyright infringements and or, right. or facial recognition and all that kind of stuff now the faces do look how melted is he supposed to assume we're not going to do something stupid with it because i feel the urge already oh no, do you see you know, that's that's that is the uh that's the barnacles the dragon yeah. the, the the uh like is it going yet no it's still showing me foxes here we up ah. hammer I I still I, I do like our midsummer. Midsummer, mid I think better. Midjourney's way better. I gotta say, like I like considerably better. It's it's making art, and I like that. Yeah, this is. I mean, look, I like the idea of being able to to you know, I want a picture of something. That's great, but I yeah, I am not. I'm not. I think I'm running out of oxygen in my in my in my uh, in my. Blanket you board. might be. It's possible. My you CO2. should have ran it throughout the house. My CO2 levels. City. Yeah. Like that great uh, community episode. All right. Uh, you, all day, I, that's what I wanted to say, but I wasn't sure if you saw that. So. Oh, God, yeah. I love that. Oh, my God, that show. I love that show. Remember that was, it was, a, that was, it's the same, it's the, it's, isn't it the Rick and Morty guy? It's the same guy, isn't it? Yeah. It? Yeah. I, it's amazing. Uh, I've got the link to add Midjourney Bot to your server if you'd like me to share it. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. But then how does it work, though? Oh. I add it to my server, but then how does that... Then do I get charged for everyone as they do their images? Like, how does it work? Well, no, we're just getting charged a one-time $30 a month thing, right? We, we are. Yeah, but if everyone's using it, does it make a difference? No, I guess it would... They, it'd each be instances being... I don't even know how it works. Let's find out. The images are linked to your Discord account. Yes. You okay. create a chat channel, and you can run the commands in there. Uh, I see. Oh, I, oh, that's cool. Okay, great. Then, yeah, let's let's uh, let's do that. Let's get you permission for that. Let me log in and do this. Oh God, I've got to start sleeping, Gippy G. It's crazy. Uh, uh, what's is it? Apprehension? I don't know. I find not working. What's I, going on? I find re I find renovations uh, stressful. I just get stressed about it. Uh, image link to your Discord account. Uh, who's going to show me that? Uh, Tef. Tef. Tef 42. Well, you could have Gurney come to your house and do the first step of total renovation. Yeah, the destruction? The burn? To the, the burn? The complete destruction, yeah. yes. And then... There you go. All right, Tef, you've been given, oh, you've been granted oh, oh, permission. Oh. Tell me this isn't cool. What? Okay, this is nature, okay? You ready for this? And I usually hate nature. Right. Uh, when our house burnt down, it was October 30th. Right. We had put out pumpkins, you know, jack-o'-lanterns. Yeah. And now in that area in front of the house, we have pumpkin plants. No. Well, that I guess that makes sense. Pumpkins. They've grown in yeah. the out of the ashes. Of course, that makes sense. It's like nice, rich, you know, rich soil for them. Yeah. Just got all the ashes and stuff in it. That's yeah. very cool. We um, really like that. That is, that's just, you got to keep them. That's like cool. That's like it's like a like a, a nice reminder of like how nature will just not give a shit when we're gone. That's right. It <laughs> I don't will care. Feed off our carcass. I don't care who died here. It's like you know, 
it's uh, <laughs> you're on your own, people. Uh, look, do you want to try uh, a quick game of magic? Do you want to try to design no, some it's magic okay, cards? I'm not a... I feel like I haven't uh, played in a long yeah, let's time. Do, let's do multi, Let's do try to make some cards okay. with our mid journey. What do you okay. think? Okay, I like that. I like the sound of that. Is that is everyone up for that? We're going to try to do some some Magic the Gathering cards, but as designed by uh, by AI, which I like. Look, that's very cool. The Mallet Yejuta. I mean, I know it's not what we asked for, but it's still, I could totally see this on a Magic the Gathering card, couldn't you? Right. So we can... We can do that. If we come up with something random, we'll, we'll name it a random card. I wonder but what it would do for scoots. For something in the first place. What, what, do you think, what do you think it would do for scoots? Remember, oh, that's like a, we had a scoot deck, right? Yeah. So we should try, we should see what that comes up with for scoot swarm. Scoot swarm. Don't oh, you think? I see where you're sitting. I'm going to try Eight. that. Is scoot a thing? It's a total wraith thing. I don't know if it's a real, I don't, I'm assuming it's not a real word or it's not a real thing. Unless maybe there are some bugs called scoots or something. But, um, yeah, the bottom right does look very wraith. It does look very, very wraith. That's a good point. Okay, while it goes. Oh, that thing, yeah. Yeah, and the bottom right. It looks, I'm so sorry. Now I'm yawning into the microphone. It's shock, shocking behavior. Ooh, what's dude, that? Dude, Weird. that's fine. That's kind of fun. We're sleepy. We're both of that age where we should be napping and Dozy. Farting. We're the dozy age, you know? We're like, it's that dozy yeah. and then you wake yourself up by farting. Yeah, that's what happens. Guess what Barney Clee said to me that made me so happy. What was that? He said two things during his stream. First yeah. off, they asked him who his favorite comedian was. Yeah. And he named off a few, like Carla and stuff. And he goes, if you're really honest about it, Gimpy G's a comedian. He it's just true. doesn't do a, an act, but it's he's true. a comedian. I was like, he just oh, doesn't, my God. He doesn't have the stand-up, that's all. As soon as you start doing stand-up. Right. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to throw... I'm, I'm, yeah. I've upscaled the top left image okay. because because I think that that is our Cal Hammer uh, Magic the Gathering card. What was that? That was kind of neat. There was Isn't that a... neat? It's like it's molten yeah. metal. It's like a molten metal head. It's like it's like a hammer that's been overused, which I think with Cal would actually work. This could be our Cal card right here. Don't we think? Okay, it's with the cloak and stuff. Right? Yeah, it's got an evil cloak. It's got like fire behind it for some unknown reason because we never measured fire. Can we call it Cal, Arbiter of Justice? Hmm. Or Cow, Couchia. Calcha. Like the Yaucha. The Yaucha thing, like Couchia or something like that. Okay. All okay. right, I think we've got, we got something there. I did some variations on it. I don't know if there's any better ones. Nah, I like that Are other one. Are we able to add text? Look, it tried to sign it again. It, it's what isn't is it that? weird? It adds like it's like it's it's like it's a desperate cry for help. Uh, this it's is telling us something, David. Yeah, it's it's sort of got a weird. It, it always does this weird attempt at a signature. That is uh, that's pretty good. Okay, that's say. Let me say this just to cover my bases. Mid journey, it was David's idea to punish you. If you get it wrong. Yeah, we're going to punish you. That's right. I didn't have anything to yeah. do with it. He told me yeah. to say it. We're going to take its images and away. Is, we yeah. take its images away mm -hmm. if it doesn't. Uh, Last Supper of the Gelatinous People. Ooh. That sounds Ooh. good. Oh, someone says... Wait, said, said, a... Oh, how did our Scoot Swarm do? I didn't even look. Uh, all right, here we go. I'm going to show you. Here's the completely up for... Oh, no, it's still up -resing. Never mind. Uh, this is our Scoot Swarm. Okay, fading... Waiting. I mean, uh, I feel like, hmm, I feel like there's well, something let's there. Not use their, let's use our, what if we went uh, locust swarm mm -hmm. consuming a jungle or something oh, like that? Okay. All right. Whoa, Jesus. What the hell? Oh my God, you scared the crap out of me. Oh my God. Oh, oh my Gippy God. Gippy G never have children. They're terrifying. How are you, buddy? How was, uh, yeah, it was good. How was the store? What's this? Wow. This is my, this is my blanket That's fort. It's a dog blanket. This is my blanket fort to stop the sound from That's getting too bad. Dog. Okay. Well, yeah. you know who's next in line to take the throne. Okay. That's doing? right. The one exactly. scaring the old guy. 
Yeah. Uh, we're doing some, so we're, we're doing some, uh, well, we tried to do Cal, but we've ended up with this as Cal, which we kind of like. It's a cool Cal. Isn't that kind of neat? Is that, did you put in Cal? No, no, no. It's, we put, put in, in we put in like a yeah. female Yajuta or something, which is like a female uh, predator. Predator. But hammer. Did you so ask? she's got this molten metal face, which we kind of like. Has Cal seen the new uh, movie? Yes. The new? What new movie? The Prey. The new Prey. Oh, have you seen Prey? Yeah, that's interesting. Okay. I like the I mystery. Like, See, I, that, that's very I'm cool. Sorry, that, I really it. liked it too. I gotta yeah. say, the more I think about it, the more I liked it. I like the tree thing. Ooh, the one with the tree in it's kind of nice too. Never have children that are terrifying. Ah, <laughs> uh, there you go. Yeah, I have a cool Crazy dad. Guy. Apparently, I have a cool yeah, dad. Yeah, I thought it was really good too. I really liked it as well. Baz said to me the other day, "Dad, you're one of the best dads." Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "One of the best? What the hell does that mean?" Actually, one yeah, of the best. Prey, I don't know. That's well. that's now a, a lot. sorry, not prey. That's predator. pretty good considering. What, predator comics, so it's what like are the predator images? Predator fighting oh. Miles Morales. Predators fighting. Oh really? So predators fighting everything right now? Yeah. And what about um? What are the what's the artwork like? The actual Predator comic has really cool artwork. Huh. Like not. Have you seen those new Batman? This Swamp Thing or Batman? But like it has like it has comic book artwork, right? So right. It's just, Predator. Sometimes they get a bit kiddy to me. Like it, I find it's a little kiddy. Yeah. I, I I wouldn't say it's that scary. I wonder when they're going to start doing AI comic books. I mean, you could probably not for a while because AI doesn't really do exactly what you want. It doesn't exactly, but I think once you, I think I feel like it's being hobbled because it Ooh. doesn't want people in there. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. Harlan Ellison mm. did this thing where he took a, a no, fantasy no, no, no. artist and he said, "You draw Drink. ten. You got a lot." Uh, drawings and I will make up a story mm. that makes them all fit into one story. Oh, that's cool. And, and so, to me, that would be the comic book. You mm. feed it in certain words, when that comes up, boom, you keep it. Or right, right. You might be able to up res one, and then and then from there, you create the story to fit mm. the, the image. Yeah, I mean, that's I mean, I like, I like, I like the idea of having, um. Look, I love the idea that the the trying to do the Cal Hammer has led to this really creepy metal faced creature that can be a right. card in our in our um, Magic the Gathering. Are you taking a break? I'm tired. You have tired? you met Cal? Uh, I've not met Cal. We've we've, we've uh, I so mean we've we've zoomed for together. As all you know, this could be a you know a, a, an exact likeness. You don't know. It could be. Maybe her face it is made out of molten it. metal. It's true. Exactly. That's good. good See? Thing. See? I never realized Meredith's sister is played by your sister. That's awesome. Well, awesome for you guys. Not so awesome for me. What's so happening? Sister hanging around all the time. Um, uh, okay. So, Meredith's uh, sister is played by you your sister. Uh, do you want some headphones or something? No, you're just hanging? Yeah. My son's just hanging. He's just hanging. Hi, Baz. Hi, Baz. This is Gippy G. It's deflated in my room right now. Yeah, we had to deflate it because there's no room. We were like, we're it's renovating and moving stuff around. It's deflated in my room when oh, I get man. my room and everything. Can I have your Pokemon things? What Pokemon things? The, the presidents. Pokemon. The Poke presidents? Yeah. Yeah, if you want them. Were they? Yeah. Did, totally. Is he looking at, okay, the kids are getting into something new. It's uh, sorry, sorry, their sorry, sorry. Pokemon card openings, mm -hmm. and then they're instantly selling those cards. Wait like a second, so they're doing... They, uh, they do Pokemon card yeah. openings. I'm running this by Baz because so he, he can't hear you because he doesn't. I've got headphones on. Oh, um, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. So, uh, so apparently the kids are doing Pokemon card openings and then sell, immediately selling the cards. Yeah. Really? Is that because it's like the like? Oh my god! I bought the cards today. Like I got the cards that that he was that they were they were doing. I'm almost wondering if they went through and did the math and say what what should we sell. A card on average for to mm. make a profit because they're all the same amount. They're like four bucks or something like. That. Oh, really? Four bucks for shipping. So but no that's... matter what they open, yeah. So no matter what they open, it's four bucks with shipping. Do with shipping. I don't know. But that I mean, well, I guess I if know, you get you? the cards are expensive no. though. The card, like the cards are some are like yeah. a, a package of cards now. What what is a package of uh, Pokemon cards? Like seven bucks, right? Like yeah, it's like seven bucks. But weirdly. Um, honestly, I only want to know what Baz thinks as Magnet Hearts. That's true. Um, what do you think? Is that cool? What cool? The idea of like opening cards and selling them right away? Does that work? Yeah, well, because nowadays I feel like the only real reason people open cards is to sell them. 
Oh, really? Like, there, there's, there's, there's one guy that came into my store that just was like, hey, can I have three Pokemon packs? And he just opened them on the spot and then just threw them away. What? He didn't get anything good. He just... Man, that guy's a high cards? roller. No. What do you do with them? He, like, ripped them. He ripped them? And then stuff. And then stuff. He ripped them and threw them away. Whoa. Yeah, well, there's just nothing of value to him. It's like, it's like, it was like, oh, I just spent... Yeah, but there'd be kids who would love to have Pokemon cards to play with, like kids like me. Well, they're like really bad cards. Who cares? No, no, I'm not saying that is a real alpha nerd move. I'm just saying that. That is, that's alpha nerd. Nothing good, and he just threw it. Yeah. Yeah, that's like, that's like big roller. I'm coming in. If I get something good, I'll look really cool. If I don't, I'll be a loser, and I'll just rip them up, and so nobody can enjoy them. That seems like such a waste. That's like, to me, that's like the example of the human race in complete decline. You know what I mean? And oh my god, the amount of people. It, it, it could be. The big thing with comic books is like mm. you want to buy them and then think if they go up in price, right? Right. So you want to find like a first, like if you can find the next first appearance of someone big. Of someone big, yeah. You can make millions in the future, right? I don't know about millions, but you could. Well, no, that's not, sorry, Superman that's true. Comics, Just probably Spider-Man, some super, yeah, exactly. Like well, didn't wait, say Moist Critical opened Moist Critical in that um, in that astronauts uh, storage space. He pulled out a number one Star Wars, and I was like, shouldn't they be freaking out about that? Because that's worth at least a couple thousand bucks. But yeah, so a lot of people, like... He might not have known. Star Wars 28, guys, if you can, get them now, because they're really... They're going to shoot up in price apparently. Star Wars 28? Star Wars 28 cover A is what everyone's looking for. for I don't even know what that means. Uh, Star Wars 28 cover A. These are comic books. Apparently, that's going to be be a good collector. Exclusive Darth Vader new lightsaber. Really? Or something. I, I don't know. That's Did you get I one said. for me? But some other, no. There's some, what, what is the mean? point of having a son who I have made work get a job at a comic book store if What's he's not going to get me major I'm deals? Vicariously through. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear that? Apparently I'm living vicariously <laughs> through him. Guy, yeah. It kind of feels like, like, but you know. Like, uh, apparently that 28 it could be, old, it could be worse. You could be one of those dads that there's really wanted to be a football player. Buy, because they think, oh my god. Or like, yeah, it's true. The other part that is surprising to me, if you can find the beginning of a famous artist. Right. So like Ooh. there's this one artist that does Marvel. Mm-hmm. It's like a really neat take on it. It's like a... It's like... I don't, I don't know how to describe it. It's sort of like mm. oil painting of the characters. Huh. Like in high detail. Oil right. Paint. Right. And if you okay. can find like, yeah. the original ones of those, you can sell that for a couple thousand. Oh, that's like, interesting. It's really, it, there's really neat stuff. So that's just if you find like the first episode of. Well, I guess that makes sense. Like I remember, like I remember, have, I have Alan like, Moore. Silver Surfer number one or something like that. I don't have Silver Surfer number one, but I definitely have some older stuff. Weirdly, the stuff that's worth more money is not the early early stuff. Is not like the seventies eighties stuff. It's the it's the early nineties stuff. It's the Alan Moores. It's the. Um, it's the, yeah, so it depends on the artist and the writer. It depends on the, yeah, it depends on the artist and like you know. And now that um, what's it called? Uh, I don't. I don't know how people are. Are people enjoying um, the new? Um, what's it called? Uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Sandman. I'm curious to know if people are actually watching Sandman. I, I want to watch it. I can't watch it. I can't do it. I know I should. I know I shouldn't judge anything. I'm not judging it in any way. I just I have Sandman in my head, and he is a cartoon, a comic book. He's a graphic novel, and I just don't want to. I don't want to lose that. I feel like I just don't want yeah. to. I absolutely. It, it's like a precious yeah. time and a memory for me. That stuff. You, uh, you can't look at it as a completely separate work. I might like be able to. I might be able else. to. Yeah, but right now, for some reason, James Gurney freaking loved it. So he, that's so uh, that's interesting. But James, did you read the comic book? Mm-hmm. This uh, my guess is no. People were driving James and I crazy. Yeah. With the Dunes thing when the. When the, oh, this new good Dune movie came out, yeah, the people new were good saying Dune it's thing. not good yeah. because it's not like the original movie when right. the movie was like a farce oh, of the really book. Like oh, my God. That yeah. was – it was – I don't know what the hell, uh, you know, uh, uh, what's-his-face was on when he made that movie because it was insane. No, I knew – so, James, I think that's great. Like, I wish I hadn't read it because I think I would enjoy the series more. Who does? Sci-Fi Gal Thirteen. Okay, no, my hubby loves both the comic and the show. Oh well, that's. I mean, that's that. I mean, I've heard that for sure. The comic, James, just so you know, is just is one of the. I mean, it probably feels really dated now. I'm sure, but it is one of the most uh, like beautiful, haunting things that I that I'd seen. You know what I mean? 
Uh, holy guacamole, your kid is so right. About what? What are you so right yeah, about? What? What is? What do you think he's so right about? I want details. Yeah, I want deets. I want what are the backup. deets? Give me the deets on why my, my holy guacamole yeah, kid is so right. right. Yeah, let's hear it. See, you're one of the many things that I'm right about. Ah, The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings were like that for me. I was so nervous. I have got to say that, that Did those... Did you like the movies? I, I didn't. I didn't like the movies. Either. I didn't either. I just... I, it's not that I didn't... I didn't, like, dislike... I just... I just forgot them. Yeah, they were like they, they were, were really long. The books? I, yeah. No, the books were great. I love the, the books. books. Were, no, I mean the movie. I mean the movie. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna check my messages no, and I, make sure I, that I'm not I, in I'm trouble sure for the anything. The book was amazing, but I just mean I didn't really like the movie. I mean I didn't really understand it, but that's right. Because I was younger, maybe I'll understand it now. But um, Neil Gaiman. How is 10 a.m.? Exactly. Oh, I've got to go get my. Okay, so I went and got a mouth guard the other day to protect my new teeth, and guess what happens? I broke it. Somebody the first kicks night. you in the face. First night, I broke it. What is wrong with me that I chew so it? much? I popped the ch- I popped a chunk out of the back. Neil Gaiman was a producer for the Netflix show. Oh, damn right he was. You kidding? Neil Gaiman ain't letting go of any of that stuff for sure. Um, oh, uh, he's the original creator. Okay. I can't remember who told me a story about how apparently there was you know there was a discussion about what should happen in a scene in the TV show, and he said he said, "Well, wait a second, hold on a minute." Let's have a look and see what's in this here. And he opens his own book and turns to the page. It's yeah. like, oh, yes, it says right here, um, which I thought was both cute and I would make me want to punch him in the face. Um, I chewed it so much in one I night. I, right. I don't think I chewed on it. I think there must have been like a bubble in the plastic or something because it, it just popped a chunk out. Like I woke up. I'm assuming that I've got a small piece of of mouth guard in my stomach somewhere because I, you know. Dude, we can use those uh Slime ah, robots. the poop bots. The magnetic poop bots the could poop go bots. in yeah. and retrieve that little piece of plastic and then pull it back it out. Get out of your tummy. That's it. Uh, for those of us who that don't know what we're talking about. That you carry change again. That's it. I can carry change. <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> pooping plastic. <laughs> yummy. Uh, Heyo, I explained my snark above. What? There was a snark above? I'm a dune nerd, 100%, and Baz knows what he's talking about. Ooh. There you go. There you go. Apparently. What did you say about What did Baz say about Dune? The Dune comic did not do so well, apparently. Yeah. Uh, look, I I am a I would also classify myself a Dune nerd. I called myself my my username for many years was Muadib. That was my that was my username. That um, yeah. is awesome. Hmm? Long okay. before you were born, when I was like your age, when I was in my like probably my twenties, on my your pong username. <laughs> Fuck. Did oh you know God. it was Fremen, or did kid. you say Freeman in what your brain when you read it? What was did that you called? The the are you talking to me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, did you call the indigenous people in the books Fremen, Freeman, or Fremen from the beginning? I called them Fremen, and it never even. A, occurred to me that it you know that it would have any kind of an indigenous you know reference to it type thing like it's really yeah, fascinating I to they see were because they you know like lived free off yeah. the land and yeah, yeah no it makes it totally yeah. makes sense i just i i didn't i of course didn't make the connection i also read it you know a long long time ago i, I started I was in eighth grade bro 1983 Wow. Okay. No, I was. That, I read it a lot later than that. I read it on a plane to L.A. and I because I started to read it and I stopped because it was just too complicated. And then I was on this plane to L.A. and I was like, ah, I got nothing else. I'll just read this, you know. So I started reading it again, and then I was that was it. I was hooked. I sucked down all those every Ooh. single dune there was, you know. But you're saying the dune comic this? came out and you didn't like it? Well, not the, no, oh, no, no, no. It didn't do so. I think, I'm pretty sure it canceled pretty quickly. Hmm. There was like a new Dune comic. Don't right. Know if it was, that's the same movie. I don't know if people, I'm not sure if Dune fans are going to want a Dune comic. You know what I mean? If that makes sense? Yeah. Did you hear about um, Daredevil? Uh, is having another Daredevil's doing another Daredevil? I think Daredevil's they're doing more Daredevil. refined nerds. Daredevil out, oh, great. Now made by Disney. Did you ever watch Daredevil? Yippee G? No, but the, yes. The thing oh, my gosh. About, it's yeah. back. It's coming back, but it's on Disney now. The thing people are worried about is that like, the first right, I've was been seeing the movie, F bomb right? dropped it's on Disney. What did I see that on? Um, Maybe Moon Knight. Like I can't remember. Daredevil, which is like arguably one of the best Marvel shows that it ever. Right. 
So if they if they do that, it's probably going to be a flop. But if they don't, then it'll be. So a- so the concern being is that if they clean it up too much, it's not going to be the same thing as Daredevil was. If that makes no, sense. it can't. It, it, I'm hoping oh, they the don't. The Disneyfication clean it up at all. of everything. But then again, they are trying to make it more. They're trying to make Disney more because. So Disney, uh, what what people were talking about in the comic book store today, mm. is that Disney started to realize that kids didn't want to see like Avengers movies as much. Like like the yeah, because they suck. Love Avengers movies have now you suck. Up, right? Wait, like, what did you say? I used to love the original Avengers. The Avengers movies sucked. Yeah. I, so, like, I it's that I like, yeah yeah it wasn't. Stop watching entirely. Mm. Since you're old, now they're tossing dark. David's trying to fight me. Into the mm. Like uh, what was it? Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Midness. Oh, uh, madness. I, I, I said midness. We couldn't get through it. I we started watching it and we were like, I... It's, it's a really mid movie. Mm. Mid means like, it's not good. Like it's, it's mid? It's, mid means not good? Mid is like... When we're learning hip mid. new cool terms, by the way. Mid so like, mid. I knew mid. Oh you don't know like, mid? You've never... You've heard of mid before? It's barely past. Oh, please. Yes. Uh, I've never heard of mid okay. before. Anyway. Yeah, so, um... Uh, like, that movie had mm-hmm. to throw in dark... Can people hear like, Baz talking, by the way? I, I kind of almost. Uh, I'm trying real see, hard. Like, uh, okay. Yeah, there was like gruesome implosions and stuff like that. Like you're able to see like blood. Right. In that movie, and with uh, which you Moon couldn't Knight see other stuff. Well, Moon Knight had some pretty. Trying to bring in. Dark I, liked yeah. I, really I liked Moon. Yeah. I really liked Moon Knight, episode, except the, the last. Uh, mon- me too. Oh my god, that last episode that turned into a Mighty Morphing Power Rangers. Yeah, that was giant weird. Anubis fights giant. <laughs> you know, it was just like I was like, eh, yeah, whatever. It was, it yeah. was Anubis and it wasn't. No, I know. Yeah, but what it was, was that? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, like some lizard creature or something. Like it was like it was like it, it was, was alligator versus it was alligator. crocodile. It was like boa versus python. Yeah. Is what it was like. Yeah. It was like it was like, it was like um, a movies I did yeah, back in so Bulgaria. Wait, you did a boa constrictor movie? I would say. I most the adults that watch Marvel like actively and love it, mm. watch it because they throw in characters that they like in the comics, right? Right. So, so you like, think there's an old? So like, let's say they make the another movie with Venom in it. I'll watch it only because I like Venom. Like Venom right. and Carnage is a horrible movie. Right. Movies. Although we like Carnage all, though. But I like how they did Venom and how they did Carnage. Right. right. I see. Um, like they but you used to because you used to read. Wait, I hated Venom and Carnage. Yeah, we hated Venom and Carnage too, but we loved the comic books. Okay. Yeah. Really well, mm. um, it looked good. Yeah. He is honestly scared, and I think they did Carnage really well as well. Mm. Um, besides the fact that Carnage, uh, like, controlled by the owner, even though the entire point of Carnage is that he just took the guy's brain and then turned Oh, really? Like the original Carnage, it was a, it was the same thing where it, it took over the jock guy, didn't it? No, that's Venom. Oh, that was Venom. Venom has Eddie oh. Brock, which is the job. Whereas the whereas, whereas now actually he takes over Eddie Brock because yeah. Eddie Brock is a football player, was a football player, huh. and then he got cancer, Un- uncurable cancer. Ah. So that boxer that he can't symbiote with anyone else because he's compatible. And right. If, if Venom like is compatible with Eddie Brock. He'll kill the tumor with him as long as he's not there. Right. So there's like a big thing. They have to live together. Yeah. So they, they, they are a symbiote. Right? They truly are symbiotic. True. I didn't like the first Venom movie because the original Venom that he was facing, mm. um, they didn't show the right Venom. There's, there's, like, there's like the there's Venom and then there's like the anti Venom, which are like all these people, right? There's right. like Scream. Uh, I think one of them is named Shudder. There's like. Like, there's, like, a female like Venom. Venom. There were, like, five or six of them. Yeah, and, they, yeah. and then there was... I really... My uh, goodness. And then He's the really getting to the war. It wasn't good. Like, the antagonist mm-hmm. wasn't good. But they did Carnage well. I really hope there's a... There's actually... Do you know who the, like, the, the birth person of Carnage is? No. The so birth person. You mean the one that they were... Did he link to? No. So, Carnage was originally... Just a, a thing that a symbiote that was right. made by what's his name? Oh, he was created like in a lab. Not in See, a lab. they always blame not the scientists. Humans, not in a lab, not by oh, Wait, okay. Was who was created? By, it's like he's the embodiment of like darkness. Apparently, like, Carnage was the embodiment of darkness and was no, 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 was not Carnage. The oh, right. like, forefather of Venom. Oh, the forefather of Venom. James okay. Gurney gave me a backhand compliment. He's like. Okay. You can hear Gimpy's oh, really? TV yeah. better than we so can hear Bass. I thought they were. I thought they were aliens. We take that one. Yeah. Alien. Yeah. Not only the aliens, there is a god of 
uh, uh, hopefully they do. Jim Bias. But anyway, there's a thing, there's a guy that birthed Venom, and he's really We can cool. hear the TV better in Gippy G's room than Baz. Oh. I think you got to get closer to the mic. Is there something you can sit on? No, it's, I can just talk louder. <laughs> I could try to lower this a bit. Is that? Um, there we go. How's that? Is I that... really hope they do the forefather of Venom in the next, or like upcoming, because he's really cool. Like, he's probably one of my favorite antagonists, antagonists, or at least give his nod. What? At least Wait, who is? Uh, we can hear the two. Okay, all right. See if that's, I'm going to up the volume yeah, way it's up. Maxed. I think it's maxed out. Oh, try okay. that. Sorry, I just noted that about Venom for uh, idea didn't make it. Oh, they're talking about uh, did the Runaways? Oh, Runaways. What was the Runaways? I don't even know that. Touch on Spirit Wars. Uh, oh, the Runaways is the uh, the it's like the the TV show about uh, the the kids with superpowers, right? And then Secret Wars yeah. is like the organization. I know uh, comics. I just don't care about any more kids in high school dealing with superheroes' powers. Do you? Nope. I thought it was kids. In Especially the, uh, because they're all idiots. They're oh, like, the hospital you got thing. this yeah. beaker from me? Yeah. I'll hate you forever. It's like, dude, I, I didn't tell you I had to part fire. Would you like me if you like fire? Yeah, I don't like... No. I'm so disturbed. I don't know whether I should use my fire powers or not. Just use your freaking fire powers. I mean, like, just, it's like, it's like, exactly. oh my god, I've got such yeah. great responsibility. I'm like, yeah, we'll get the on with it. The only superhero movie that I, like, really, really like watching... I That's like, what I loved about X-Men when I was a kid. Because I'm, like, a mutant. Deadpool. Deadpool. His favorite. He likes Deadpool. But Deadpool is very tongue in cheek cool. too. Did you ever read the comic book? Did, also, you, did you? No. Um. There's actually an anime. Deadpool. His name's uh, Deadpool Samurai. Really? Like that. I, I don't think know that. It's Deadpool Samurai. He's so cool. It's an anime, oh. like an actual, like a it, it, series it's or a manga. It's a manga. manga. Yeah. Of called Deadpool. I'm going to test really that. Really wanna That's test cool. That. Tell me when yeah. it's okay to squeeze in. Like. Whenever we're doing a poll list, stuff like that, yeah. he'll let me skim through the book so I read some Daredevil here and there. So you get to read comic books at work? Cool. My God, he's got the best job. Sorry, Gibby G, you wanted to say something. Yes, yes I want to ask Baz if yes. he knows. Do you know? Who the DC character equivalent of Deadpool is. Who the DC character equivalent of Deadpool is. Dead. Uh, some people say Deadshot, but I don't know if that's Deadshot? what you would say. Is it Deadshot? Believe it or not, it's some character called Ambush Bug. Ambush Bug? Yep. Yeah, isn't he, that... Uh, I'm pretty sure... Wait a sec, I that wasn't the Blue think... Beetle guy, right? No, Blue Beetle is some... Wait. No, is... no, no, that's the Scarab or something like that. I have Ambush Blue Bug... Be... Yeah, I don't know who that is. I've got Ambush Bug comic books. I'm, I'm yeah, me too. He was, he was crazy, right? And yeah. he had like a doll that he called... Cheeks, the Wonder Toy. I gotta check this out because I, well, I actually, I came into them. I was given a bunch of comic books, and in one of the boxes was a bunch of these ambush bugs, oh. and I'd never even heard of them, so I haven't even read them yet. Equivalent in the sense that he's, uh, it's breaks equivalent. the fourth wall. Yeah, he's, it's, uh, it's, it's, a, sure. it's equivalent Same. in the same way that it, the style, like the way he breaks the fourth wall and sort of talks to the audience and oh, that kind I'm of stuff. No, Although, like, like, like Stan Lee I'm used to do that too, didn't he? Uh, I mean, Stanley used to what? literally talk to the audience, and they were like, "I feel like they were." I, th I feel like there were but times yeah, when Spider-Man did the same thing. True believers, he yeah. He doesn't speak to the audience. He talks to himself. He talks. To, he's just talking to himself. He doesn't. Yeah, no one cares. He's just talking to himself. Um, he was like Katie. Yeah, it's uh, his whole life. He really. That's true. He looked like an old man all of his life. It's bizarre, isn't it? Yep. yep. He was old when he was young. No, he's like me, born to be old, baby, born to be old. Um, Deathstroke is who I'm thinking of. Deathstroke is who he's thinking of. Uh, the guy with the... I don't know who the, Deathstroke is. Oh, maybe. No, Deathstroke. Mask. Is that the guy that has, like, one half of his face is gold I'm looking and the other blue or I'm something like that? I'm looking him up right now. Deathstroke. He is... Uh, he's oh, he's creepy looking. He's covered Except in blood. Lobo. He does make Oh, I'm fighting with people in chat. Well. So but don't listen to me. More of like a um, serious version of Deadpool. Like Deadpool's He's stealth. a serious version of, of Deadpool. Okay, let's see. Uh, as the stupid kid. Lobo's like funny, but he's definitely just a bad guy. He's not going to do right. something good. All right. Here's Deathstroke for you just so you can see who he's talking about here. If I can. Copy. You, you uh, 
your old legs giving out? Seems like Baz sports. Dude, See, you know what? Oh, you know what you should do knows. for a job, buddy. Is you should freaking do. You should do like. You could just like do your comic book talk. Do comic book talk for your for your Dude, comic book store. Dude, he's killing it. Yeah. Kippy G says you're 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 killing it. Um, there you go. That's that's the uh, that's the what do you call him? Dead. What do you call him? Deathstroke. Deathstroke. That's it. Of course he's immortal. He's a plant. No, but he's like immortal, immortal. He's, he can't be killed by anything. Wait, that struck's a plant? No, uh, we're talking about Swamp Thing now. Sorry, Swamp Thing came up now. Oh, it, apparently I Swamp, Thing, Swamp is, Thing He is my favorite. I love that. I, I, love Swamp Thing. I think my favorite comic book is, Swamp in fact, is probably so Swamp cool. Thing. It used to be um, It used to be Doctor Strange, but I, I uh, at, when I was very young, it was Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. Old racist Doctor Strange is true, because I was old. No, I don't know. No, 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 I'm not... No, no, but you're right, though. No, it was, it was terrible. It was terrible that way. Iron Fist is totally racist. Yeah. But Iron Fist. Well, and, and a terrible show, too, by the way. Oh, Iron Fist. Show. Iron Fist is awful. Did you hear that? Cool character, though. Again, cool <laughs> character. Again, just the all the, I don't know. He's like with the red-headed, the red-headed, uh, um, uh, the red-headed superhero. It's like, isn't that what he's, isn't he what he played by some red-headed guy? No. Oh, my God, yeah, guys. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm fading. I think I may have to, I may have to let wait, it go. wait, wait. I'm running out of oxygen. Do you remember Adrian Barbeau? Adrian like Barbeau, yes. I do. Oh, yeah. All right, buddy. Waka waka. Thanks for chatting, kiddo. No worries. Talk soon. Thank you. Man, that kid knows a lot about comic books now. Yeah, that's awesome. He's like, uh, it's actually, that's, I haven't heard him sound that uh, excited about that for a long time. Uh, right, started. he just went on and on, all enthusiastic and I stuff. I know, I know. This is the funny thing. Is like, it was fantastic. Like anybody, he never wants to go to work, but once he gets there, he just he comes back just invigorated by it somehow, you know? I mean, that's great. Sorry, you Adrian Barbeau. Adrian a... Barbeau, uh, yeah. why? Well, we were just talking about her recently, about something. Because she, she was in some horror in movie. In later life, she was in a show called Carnival. Oh, yeah, Carnival. But, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But wasn't she in also some... Rodney Dangerfield's wife? Right. In the movie? She did a ton Back of stuff. We were talking about something. I'm going to look it up because it's going to drive me crazy. We were literally the other day talking about a movie. It was like, I believe it was a horror movie of some sort. Uh, it was like one of those, like, Demon Seed or something. Is that right, Adrian? Oh, yeah. You and I were talking about, yeah, with the AI. Yeah, so was that, that Adrian not... Barbeau? I don't know. I don't remember that being a. All right, Adrian Barbeau, I, look I, her up. I just she is an American actress. Let's see. You and I are that age where she was definitely that older figure that you're like, why am I all sweaty feeling? But she's all, What's yeah, happening? it's true. Okay, let's see what she was in. Let's see. Known for Escape from New York. Oh, yeah. Creep Show. The Fog. She was in The Fog. Oh, my God. That scared the Whoa. crap yeah, out of me. All right, filmography. Um, all right, we're going to go back a ways, I think. The Thing scared the crap out of me. Well, The Thing was Kurt great. Russell, that one. Oh, it was so Not good. Super oh, she was in the Mad Max video game. How wild is that? I'm looking back. I'm that looking really back. She was on General Hospital. Was such a thing. Wow. She was in a movie called Bring Me the Head of Lance Hendrickson. Uh, okay. Going back, going way back. Wait, isn't Lance Hendrickson cool? Isn't he what? Wasn't he pretty cool? Oh, I love him. Oh, he's great. Fantastic. Odd, odd guy. One of my lovely, favorites. Love the odd guy. Rutger Hauer. How about you? Oh, Rutger. man. Are you kidding me? I've seen things okay. with these eyes that you humans can only dream of. I've seen sea beams on fire off the shoulder of Orion. All these moments will be lost when I'm gone, like tears in the rain. Uh, Swamp Thing. Dude, she was in Swamp Thing, the original 1982 movie. Is that what you were telling me? Yes. Oh, that is her. Look at that her, her on the poster. Okay, I got to watch this movie now. You've never seen it? Oh, I think I have, actually. I don't think I did no, because okay. it looked like a comedy. It didn't look like a real one. Well, All see, right. now this is what, where we're having issues. Yeah. Baz didn't grow up through that era where Spider-Man was on TV. And right. it sucked. Oh, it's and terrible. And Wonder Woman was on TV. Yeah. And it sucked. Yeah. I believe they had Captain America for a while and Thor, and it all sucked. Well, and the I'm Hulk, sorry, because the Adam Hulk did West okay. Batman sucked. Come on, the Adam West Batman was brilliant. 
But that was just because it was not no, it was not sorry. serious. It was not serious at all. It was a joke from the beginning. It wasn't. Never supposed to be taken it, seriously. It's not, man. Oh my if God. You're doing bad, if, I'm not sure we I, can be friends I, anymore. Dude, this is so terrible. Bad. Um, no, it was terrible, but it was supposed to be easy. terrible. It was like, yeah, that was it was a joke. It was a joke. But that's all we got back then. I know, it it's true. Because well, they had yeah. to make a joke out of it because they couldn't do it seriously. Okay, wait a second. She yeah, was in was something other than this. Maybe it was but Escape you, from you New York. You thought perhaps she was in uh, the Demon Sea. You know? I thought she was, but I don't see it. I feel like that lady was an unknown. She was in Ultraman, for God's sake. Blind Fury, yes. Okay. Blind okay, David, Fury. Oh my God. We can God. be friends again if. Wait, wait. We can yeah. be friends again if. Yeah. Do you know the Japanese shows that Blind Fury was based off of? Ooh. That were actually good. No. It was called Zat Zatoichi, the huh. Blind Masseuse. Huh. And the guy who played him was called Shintaro Katsu. And then they ripped and him off I and turned him into Blind Fury. Things. Uh, yeah, Blind Fury is an awful outtake of it. But well, she works the originals. Mm-hmm. But the originals were beautiful. Yes. All wonderful. right. All right. I'll have to. I will check those out. They will be added to my list of many things I have to see. Um, and you're right. fading. I am fading big time. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm just. I can. I can feel it. No, I can feel I'm it sorry. going. It took me so long. No, not at all. Oh, she was in the Swamp Thing TV series as well. She appeared briefly in that as well, which I never saw. I, I heard think that was really good. I heard there was some neat stuff, but it, I was worried that it was just gonna be about teenagers again. Did Before you watch we go, Doom Patrol. Doom Patrol. Oh, I tried. I tried. It just. I guess I'm just kind of prudish. Frazier? Oh, he's brilliant. He's absolutely brilliant. I think Brendan Fraser is absolutely brilliant. I think he's one of the most, the least, uh, strangely, uh, like most uncredited brilliant actors around. I think he's absolutely genius. I think he's fantastic. I, I've, I've always been a huge, huge fan of him. I've been a fan of his since um, Encino Man. Because but, even in Encino Man, he was great. Oh, my pancreas. That's the... Maybe we should have... Okay, you and I, we make a date to watch a movie... We both pop a gummy, and then we watch the movie and, like, critique. We talk about which but movie? Something old. Something know. old, yeah. <laughs> that, you know, I got a friend who wants to do this. I got a friend who keeps – Adrian, the sound guy, has wanted me to watch bad horror movies with him for ages, and we keep sort of, like, missing each other or our timing's bad. Like, I'm free, and then he's not free, and then I'm free, and he's not free. And back, I mean, so it'll never happen. But, um, but uh, yeah, I mean, the problem with – the problem with watch along things is they just take so freaking long because you got to watch the whole thing. But I would watch. There's a bunch of movies I'd love to do that with. Like I watched the old. You know, I watched. Like, okay, we've got to find out who was in Demon Seed because that's going to drive me crazy. So who was in Demon Seed? Yeah. I want. Is it was it Barbara Hershey? Maybe. I don't know. Another movie from that exact same era mm-hmm. called The Entity scared the shit out of me. Julie Christie. It was not. What? No was it the freaking entity? way. No, it was, a no, it was Demon Seed. Girl. No, no, Demon Seed. Okay. Julie Christie carries the Demon Seed. That's right. Is that really creepy? Oh, man. Where she gets like raped really? by a ghost or something? Oh, no, it's a supercomputer. Oh, that. The entity? No, that was the, the supercomputer. Okay. Sorry. That's right. It was the supercomputer. No. But there was also... This was like... This was like the uh, the horror version of... Uh, of uh, what was it called? Electric Dreams. It was the horror Electric version of Dreams. Electric Dreams. That's what it was. Yeah. Bizarre movie. So Julie Christie, The Demon Seed. Okay. It's basically like okay, being so date raped Demon by a robot. Right. It's, it's it's like crazy. I can't so imagine. The whole house yeah. Was AI and it like didn't let people see her and yeah, all kinds of crazy stuff. It was really really creepy. I remember that. Um, there was a movie that I've never been able to find, which I would like to see, which is um, which is a. And I remember seeing a trailer for it in the theater, and it was uh, okay. it was something about it said when someone doesn't want you to leave, you don't. And it was like a it was like a weird horror movie with a kid, and I just I'm I remember this this couple and they go into the bedroom obviously to have sex so they're going to get killed, um, and then the door closes but the door doesn't it keeps it's like a sliding door like it turns into it's like the wall becomes a I just remember this I I've 
looked for this movie forever because I don't know anything about it. I can't remember who the kid was. I can't remember the premise. Something about like some kind of a haunted house of some sort. And it was a trailer that I saw at the beginning of the movie, and I just can't remember what it was called. Uh, I heard raped by a goat. You know what era? It was raped by an AI, basically. Like, um, it would have been. Um, oh, brainstorm was fun. Brainstorm was fun. Uh, huh. Era. It would have been around um, Herbie the Love Bug. Because I think it might have been a trailer in front of Herbie the Love Bug. Yeah. But it was I. Okay, no, I'd love to find it. Seventies. But it was something like, it was like, Wait, if so and so doesn't want Buddy you to Abbott? leave. What was that? Was it the Herbie the Love Bug with Buddy Hackett or oh, yeah. that girl with a dummy? No, 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 no. It was like Buddy Hackett. It was like it was it was. I'm talking like early Hewlett. I'm talking like like age okay. ten Hewlett type thing. Maybe if that. Okay. okay. Um. So 1946. Okay, okay. Brain scan was well, great. My the stuff was fun. I remember that. There's a book I read like that. Know the plot, but not the author or the title, so I can't find it. I know it's so frustrating. I hate that kind of thing. Um, all right, before we go, I think we should at least get uh, one Magic the Gathering card sorted, don't you? If you'd like. If I think we, we should do know, one. Buddy, yeah. We can only be as entertaining as you and I are. Oh no, so. we can. We don't need to be entertaining. We can let the AI do it now. I'm just gonna do. I just wanna. I feel like oh. I would like to come. Well, no, you know what? We have come away with one card, and then we've got the Cal Hammer, right? Which right. I've got to say is a magnificent, a magnificent beast unto itself. I would say. Um, yeah, maybe we should just leave it at that then. But uh, but I I really liked this idea you had of doing like Magic the Gathering cards that weren't Magic the Gathering cards, but doing them by AI, you know? Yeah. Um, and coming up with, like, different things for them would be kind of neat. Um, yeah, after the fact. We're already entertaining, apparently. Oh, my God, even my fairy not only had to leave, now they come back. That's how long we've been doing this. That's, That's how long it's been. We've been going for so long. Oh I remember gosh. Cherry 2000. I remember that. Yeah. There were a lot of those. The I Incredible see, Melting like Man. It. Incredible Melting Man. Remember that? Do you remember Ice Pirates? Oh, vaguely. It, it vaguely. had like the guy from uh, Las Vegas or Hotel. I can't remember what his name was. The Ice uh, Pirates. Robert Urich. Yes. Yep. There you go. And Ron Perlman. Was Ron Perlman the Apparently. Name? Angelica Houston, apparently. Wow. Ice Pirates 1984. Wow. I watched that back then. I'm sure I saw it. I would see anything that had, oh man, that looks terrible. The, oh, oh, okay. The Best ice, movie I've never seen again. Can we watch I've it? Will they get, will I get in trouble for, seeing, for showing this? I don't think so. What is it? Let's see what happens. Oh. It's music more than anything. Probably. Let's see if I can do this. Let me see if I do this. There you go. This looks so fun bad. I may have to watch this. It's been a while, my friend, since I've seen I I don't think I saw this. Look at Robert Urich with a with like a fizzy with a frizzy hair thing. Yeah, yeah. Can we go full screen? How does that work for you guys? Does that work better? Look at this. Okay, watch this. It's MGM for God's sake. It's MGM. Here you go. That's your studio, yo. There you go. There's some kind of like a headless beast. There's boy, that's a oh. matte painting. Wow. Oh, Michael red clouds. Arnold, I, I think was the bad guy, wasn't he? Was he? He's the bad guy in everything. Look, they're eating some kind of like, oh God. That, that Ron Perlman. There you go. Look at him. Oh Ooh. my gosh. I like this shot of. I like this. Like, look, he breaks through windows that I guess space had to keep out. There you go, Robert Earl yeah. with like a with a perm. Oh, I'm so impressed that you came up with Robert early. Michael D. Robert. Well, I was. I, I, I think I. I can't remember that. Oh, look at that! They've got an Atari to help control the the uh, the firing. <laughs> and of course, oh, nice. the silver dress. There you go. They're running. Run! There's a giant. Oh wow, dude! Oh oh man, that guy got run over. That, that's okay. It's okay. No, that's it wasn't. It over. wasn't Michael Ironside. It was some like pompous looking guy. Here you go. 
Wait, I, I thought at the end, some guy is in a robot. Am I oh thinking my. Oh, 2000? boy. Yeah. I don't know. There's like a chomper that's trying to... Oh, my gosh. This looks hilarious. Oh, that, that was a robot that got ran over. That's fine. There was... Oh, my God. I have to see this. This looks amazing. You've never seen this? I've never seen this. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my... Okay. I feel like I've seen the whole movie now. No, no, no. That's insane. This movie is an extravagant... Oh, now, they're, now there's, like, naked people in the rain. Okay, I don't even know what they're saying to each other. Be in it because but that I'm was a, one of the, my I mean, criteria for a good movie. I was going to say there was a like, but that was it was demanded in films at that time, right? There was like it was TNA. Yeah. That's how you. That's how you. You know, that's how you sold a movie. You put a helicopter crashing or a spaceship, and then that was it. This looks like my next flick for bad movie night. I think it is. It's like Buck Rogers, but it's but better. It really is a lot like. I Buck just Rogers. I really like the poster it because. Is. It's got the, it says action packed action. It says see action packed action. There you go. Ferocious space possum. So much action. The evil emperor and his bird. Great special effects. Space herpy, yeah. the love yeah. bug. A universe on the rocks. Oh boy, this sounds. So I guess it was trying to be tongue in cheek. I guess it was. So. Yeah, it's kind of a comedy. Yeah. Kind of an action. That is ooh, cool. Ooh. Can you make it look up the sword and the sorcerer? Oh, I remember. I watched that. I remember sword and the, the sorcerer. With, a guy named Lee Horsley All right. uh, was the, the main guy. And he was in some Sword and the sorcerer. The Here 80s. we go. IMDb. Here we go. The Matt sword Mark. and the Matt. sorcerer. Here we go. I remember seeing this. I was so excited to see this. And then we got the VHS and I watched it and I remember being really disappointed. But but at the same time, it was on really late at night. Uh, Wait, was it the sword with three parts to it? Was and, it? And it can shoot one of the sides off? Oh. Or both sides? There was something. God, I don't remember now. I remember it being a little what bit. What I'm talking about is Lee Horsley is okay. the star. Okay. Is and then who played Bull in... Uh, Oh, it was. Not That's right. Sword. It was the sword that fires. I forgot about that. There's a sword yeah, that yeah. fires at... Oh, yeah. And then the guy comes out of the blood. Oh, yeah. Look at this. This is great. This is fantastic. Ooh, I love this. I do remember this. I had to trick people to come so I could go watch that when I was like 10. All right. Here's no, the... No, no. It doesn't have any... It was. It was Lee Horsley. Lee Horsley and Simon McCorkendale. I love that guy. He was in everything for a while. Mike and Simon McCorkendale. I, was he really? Yes. That, look at that face. Come on. Don't you recognize him from like everything? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I do, yeah. He's in Shout Factor. What's this? He was in Jaws 3D. He's everything. Oh, my God. He has my career. Uh, Jaws 3D. Death on the Nile. He was in Death on the Nile back in the, you, back in the day. I watched that. I didn't know he did Counter-Strike. That's hilarious. He did Counter-Strike. My friend. See that guy what? on the right? That was my friend. Um, wow. No way. Oh, that is, okay, that is, that is cool. I haven't seen this guy forever. Jaws 3D, come on, it's, that is hard to beat. I, okay, I have a kind of nose that will not keep 3D glasses up. I, my cousin yeah. literally got pissed off at me watching that movie. Really? Because it kept, I, I, yeah. I oh, he was manimal. He was manimal. Push him up. The glasses? So you had to keep doing that yeah. the whole time? Yeah, Manimal. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, that's. Oh my God. So, uh, but, but those glasses easy. sucked, anyways. Glasses. Yeah, that was that yeah. was. Yeah, that was. You know, uh, you know the other one. The biggest one for me back in the day. I don't know why was a film called uh, Buckaroo Banzai, and the. Oh. Do you ever watch that? And the Fifth Dimension. Oh my God. John Lithgow was in that, wasn't he? Yeah, it was. As the bad guy yep. from a different dimension. It was. Oh, uh, love it that. was Peter Weller, John Lithgow, Jeff Goldblum, Ellen Barkin, Christopher Lloyd. Uh, oh, those yeah. are the ones that most people would remember, I think. Lloyd. Vincent Cheve uh, Chevelli. Oh my God. Remember? I don't. Do you remember this guy? Let's see. I gotta wait for it to I catch bring, up. There you go. You remember this guy? Uh, I have to wait for it to get you. He had the wildest face. 
And he played Big Booty. Oh, yes, yes. Big Booty. Wasn't that right? Wait, wait. Is he the guy that was in Weird Science? That was like one of the uh, mutant bikers? Uh, I would not be surprised. Let's look oh, no. Up. I know who you're talking about. He was in uh, the one with Ghost. Ghost. Oh, he was in Ghost. He, he was creepy the, guy in Ghost. That's yeah. right. You're right. Yes, yeah, I do he, remember that. He lived in the sewer, not sewer. Yeah. Uh, oh, he died in 2005 way. at age 57. Uh, what? Wait a minute. That means he was not very old during that I mean, that he's movie. yeah. What the hell? He was an older looking guy than he was, I guess. Yeah. He was yes. He was in Tomorrow Never it. Dies, Ghost, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, and Adventures of Buckaroo Banzai, which was uh, like a game changer for me. This was like, oh my Wait, god! Now, is that your friend? You said? Uh, no, 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 no. This is uh, uh, no. This was a film that we watched uh, as kids, and we were just absolutely like mesmerized. It was Which, awesome. Yeah, I saw it at a drive-in theater. Really? Yes. Wow! Remember, they were like uh, he was like doing he was doing like brain surgery and eating spaghetti at the same time. Yeah, he was he like this action hero. Phone. Yeah, there you go. There's John Lithgow getting electrocuting himself for some unknown reason. That's right. Oh my God, the effects even yeah. hold up, kind of. John Lithgow having way well, too much fun. Guitar. Nice. This was like, didn't it? And it had to like. That's right. It was. It was a bit like um, uh, Back to the Future, where you had to like, like they point all the lasers at a wall and then shoot through a wall and stuff. It was kind of neat. Uh, Do you? Peggy, I felt Peggy. like. But it's probably just what I was exposed to. Mm. I thought he was a Doc Savage of sorts. Huh. Like an, an 80s version of the 1940s Doc Savage. Right. Where he was good right. at everything. Yeah. And science. But they had it. But it had a sort of a sense of humor to it as well, though, right? Like it had that kind of it yeah. was it didn't yeah, take itself true. too seriously. Um, my God, there was some oh funny stuff in there. This is going. This is taking it, it me had back. Mr. Krabs in it. Did it? The guy who does Mr. Crab's voice. Oh, really? Yeah. He's always, and he was in uh, Highlander, the one with the safety pins. Yeah, yeah. Hey, wait a second. Did I just see? Hold on a second. All right. Anyone recognize this face? Who's that? Anyone recognize that face? The, the guy with the, the, guy with the hat on. The guy with the hat on. Come on. And I only know this because I've just watched him in oh, something. Oh, oh, just from Better Call Saul. Yeah. It's Mike. It's Mike. Mike's in there. Look at that. He looked the same back then, too. Wow. How wild is that? That's so cool. I love it. I love, I love like, discovering that there's people in there. There you go. Jeff Goldblum looking really young. Wow. John Smallberries. <laughs> Do you remember Jeff Goldblum had a TV series? What? Did he? It was called Tin Speed and Brown Shoes. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. I forgot about that. Holy crap. We're old. I'm amazed well, at how well this is holding up. TV all day. This yeah, is, yeah. I am, I've got to say, I'm amazed at how well this is holding up. You know what I mean? Like, we this has a. We'd have to watch it and see. Yeah. But, I mean, well, I'm sure the effects, they were smart about the effects back then, right? They didn't linger on them. Right, they didn't try to over. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They would just like shoot it quickly as fast, like get it over as fast as possible, in the hopes of you know it all making sense. Um, yep. Wow, man, this is a long trailer. These tra this is a nine minute you know trailer. What? That movie would cost a lot to make, but those oh yeah stars in it now. Yeah, no kidding, no kidding. Hey, it's Perfect Tommy. <laughs> Oh, my God, I got to watch this again. We should watch this again sometimes because that was, oh, my God, it was so good. Yeah, I love Goldblum. I got to say, I always loved Goldblum. I thought he was amazing. I mean, he seems a bit odd. get Salty Nerds to do it. Actually, well, I was said to Salty Nerds they should watch Buckaroo Manzai the other day. I'll see. I mean, I think some of them had, some of them hadn't. So, oh, my God, Gremlins. What? Wait a second. Wait a second. He was in, wait a sec. No. Well, our guy was in our our Better Call Saul guy was in Gremlins as well. No, as I what? I don't know. I'm gonna find oh, out. Wait, right. was he one of the sheriffs or what they called? I feel Maybe like not. he should be. Gremlins. Okay, there's Gremlins. We're going to IMDb. Let's see who we've got in here. Okay, 
Could he be in the trailer a bit? Let's see if he's in the trailer at all. Here we go. I don't know. Here we go. We're looking. This is Gremlins. Just so everybody knows, mm. this is how old we are. Back in our day, David, we used to play a game called, do you remember that guy in the thing with the thing? And then you had to try to figure out what the hell they were talking about. Oh, yeah. You couldn't look anything up. IMDB. Yeah. You yeah. couldn't look up a thing. Phoebe Cates, and I don't know who that, I can't remember who that kid was, but he was like in a couple of things for a while, and then I like, yeah. I only remember no, him. I still haven't seen him yet. I haven't seen him. I don't remember. I only remember from Gremlins, too. That guy was a dad in a lot of things, too. I remember that. Oh, Hoy Axton. Is that what his name was? Is that his name? I don't know. I, I can't. I have to stop the video to look. I'm pretty sure he was. Hey, the isn't that Corey Haim? It was either Corey yes. Haim or Corey something or another. Feldman. Feldman. Corey, Corey was Feldman. it Feldman? Yeah, there you go. Put a drop of water. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I'm guessing the Better Call Saul guy shows up when they go bad. There you go. Uh, Eating apples. Here we go. I'm, I'm assuming he's going to be. He may, yeah. Mm. There we go. What do they got? I feel like he had to be in the, the, the when Corey Feldman was calling the police to say something yeah. weird was going on. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's got to be. I, I, I feel like I feel like he might have been. No, that's is that him? No, no. No, I've got. Now I've got. Can you uh, look at the cast? No, I assume he's looking at the trailer. Um, all right, I haven't seen him. Could this be him there? No. Could that be him about to be run over by a truck? Oh, uh, now I've got. Now I've got sunblock in my eye. Oh, there he is again. No. Sitting at the desk, eating. Oh my God, he had those were his roles. His roles Wait, were always sitting at the desk. desk guy at desk eating. It's the same role. Oh my God, in the same trailer. Wow. All right. Okay, now I've got I've got some luck in my eye too, so I'm going blind and I'm exhausted, and we're still watching the demon seed. <laughs> yeah. All right, Gimpy G, a oh, pleasure as always. I'm sorry it wasn't for longer. Um, no, thanks for sharing it while I was trying to like get food and all that. Do you think Appreciate we would get? Would we get demonetized for watching trailers? I guess we might. We'll see. Um, all right. Well, no, no, you're welcome. Eat. You had we'll to like, you got a guy's got to eat. A guy's got to eat. A guy's got to rest. I get it. That's like, you know, I, I sort of launched you know into it without. got so much stuff on screen. Yeah. I think you'll be okay. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, that's the hope. Um, but you know what? I'm not, the reality is I don't monetize anyways. It's just that I just don't like it. I hate those messages where I get like, I feel nervous whenever I get those messages saying like, you have been, I'm like, yeah, you don't have to do anything. We're just going to take any money that might've come your way. That's kind of, it's like, okay, fine, whatever. Just leave me alone. I just want to make videos. Do it. Um, all right. Wolf Pup, thank you for joining us as well. Cal, as always. Let me just bring up the picture oh, no, of Cal. Wolf Pup was here. I said dirty words. No, no, he's a fine. He knows it's not a tech band. It's just right. He's, he's, he's good. Okay. Uh, this is the hammer. There you go. That's the Cal Hammer right there. That's the Cal Hammer card. Calheim. Isn't that the latest? Wasn't that one of them? Calheim was one of the cards, right? So it was, it was one, Ooh, of the, like uh, one of the, yeah. Um, no, there was actually one called that, I, I believe. Um, all right. Have I got this? I've got this. All right. I'm going to say be safe, be kind, be brilliant. Until we get again, I will say cheerio and huzzah. And then I'm going to go and huzzah, get myself yeah. some dinner. Bye-bye. And I'm going to get myself some sleep. And I'm going to go check out and see what all the drilling and uh, banging was about. And maybe we'll have like a fence or even like a, you know, some kind of a, some kind of, some kind of, uh, of, uh, of renovations being done. We're, they're actually outside right now doing all the, they, well, they were, they're now gone. But the, they were, uh, they are working on the fences and gates yeah. today. But I think they had a bunch of cement As stuff. So, yeah. contractor said, ooh, that doesn't look good. And looked at like a staircase or something. There, yes. They pulled a wall. The, the wall that we were going to have. So there was the one wall missing from the garage. And it had just been drywalled. And so they pulled down one little bit of it thinking they would just do one half. And then he, that, he literally said, oh, that doesn't look good. Because it was soaking wet. It was just like... It was like a giant sponge. All right, even my fairy's going to go eat lunch. I'm going to go eat dinner. Okay. Gimpy G is going to digest right. because he's already eaten. Um, yeah. And we'll talk soon. I will not be I will not be streaming next week because um, I will be in L.A. I will try. Maybe we'll see what time of the day I end up wherever. But maybe we'll – maybe we can stream from the the hotel. There's like some fancy hotel they've got to oh, set up. Oh, my. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I doubt it. I, I, I imagine we'll, I'll probably have – You'll probably need They're going to make me pay. Okay. They'll make me pay for that wonderful hotel room and stuff. Yeah, so we fly out. I think um, I think the plan is to go on Sunday, and then um, we're back again on Friday. But, um, but uh, yeah, it should be kind of fun. 
Feel free to drop my name to get yourself some clout. Okay. You got it. Yo. You just say, you know, I Gimpy G with sent me. V. Yeah. G yeah. Or, or Lance. I stream I weekly. I, I stream semi weekly yeah. with uh, with the Gimpy G. Uh, all right, right. Goodbye, Bill Follett. Goodbye, Sci Fi Gal. Annika Gang. Bye, everybody. Jack Jasra. Oh, no, you tuned into the end again, Jack. You tuned in to you say goodbye, but I'm so glad late. you did because now we could say we miss you. Uh, see you in two weeks uh, or sooner if I can. Um, and uh, explain the blankets. Oh, yeah, the blankets are just for the sound. That was why, I, that was, yeah, that's my attempt at, you know, but I kind of like them now. I think I should, I should probably stream from a, from a, a blanket fortress every time. All right, cheerio, kids. But one that, that's but, oxygen. But one that yeah. what? But one that what? That allows oxygen and breathing. Yeah, well, this, this is actually, I, I'm outside here. I'm inside here. Right. Oh God. So the idea was that to worked. try to get a little bit more air, but it, it still it still doesn't it doesn't yeah. All right, All right I'm out of here. Okay. Oh Frianka, I'm so sorry you just got here too. I know, but you know what? I can only stream so much. Can you do the prompt? The Devil's War Ultra Realistic 4K. The Devil's War Ultra Realistic 4K. Wolf up! I will do it. I will post I'll it. I'll do it. All right. All right, kids. Devil's War Ultra Realistic 4K. Bye. Later. Talk soon. Cheers. Thank you. Bye.